Hello, everyone. Good morning. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Happy hump day. I, happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope your classes are going well. Hope you're not stressed. Hope you're, everything, you're able to keep up with your coursework, your homework. Remember, you have a tutor, and I understand some of you are taking a class with your tutor. Um, I think for our class, I know that um, some of you were asking about your level in uh, your TOEFL score. So if you're concerned about your level, if you're having, um, if it's a challenge to listen and understand what we're doing in class, uh, I highly recommend that, number one, that you listen to the recordings, to the videos as much as possible. I'm trying to include recordings of each of our class classes. I'm trying to include a lot of video tutorials for this class. So really make sure that you try to listen to those videos if those help and it will get easier, right? It, the more that you listen, the more you're gonna understand and uh, the easier it's gonna be. Remember that in Microsoft Teams, we have our playlist, right? This is our video archive. It's called Video Archive, and from here you can find all the videos for the class. Okay, so make sure that you're uh, taking advantage of these videos if you need it, right? Of course, if you don't need it, fine, right? You don't need to listen to them, but you know what you need. You, you know if you need to practice more um, different listening activities, and so try to take advantage of listening to your podcast as much as possible. Make sure that you're working this week on your next podcast that's going to be due this Friday. We've got a lot of uh, activities this week. All right, so let's let's take a, a review here of what we talked about yesterday. All right, yesterday we looked at three files, new vocabulary. Take a look at this one first. This morning I went through and I left a few comments. Remember that under the column, do you know, please indicate yes or no if you know or understand what your uh, word or phrase is, if you understand the meaning of it, All right? Of course, try to find the meaning if it's, uh, if it's a literal meaning. Sometimes it's difficult to know a meaning of a word if it's used figuratively. So sometimes I include a note here under memo that asks, is this literal or figurative? Right? Let's take the word wreckage or just wreck. Okay, maybe this is a word you came across in your uh, reading class, perhaps. It looks like some of you mentioned this word. So if we go into our search and we look for the word wreckage, we can see some images of the literal meaning wreckage, right? So this is what a wreckage is. It's just basically any anything that's been destroyed and neglected is called a wreckage, right? But it could also mean figuratively. Like I could say, I'm a wreck. What does that mean if I say, I'm a wreck? Yeah, I'm I'm sad. I I'm, I've had a hard time. Maybe I had a bad day. I'm depressed. I'm confused. I'm a wreck, right? So it depends on if the word is used figuratively, as in the case of I'm a wreck. I I am feeling bad. I'm feeling poorly, or the literal meaning, like in this case, some from these images, maybe a shipwreck, a plane wreck. Right? You can indicate a car wreck. You can add an adjective to describe what kind of wreck it happens to be. All right? So when you're uploading your new words to the spreadsheet, make sure that 
you are uh, indicating if you don't know the meaning of the word if you can leave a note under the memo are you referring to it literally and you're not sure what the word what the literal meaning is or do you have a question of what it means figuratively right and sometimes in songs a lot of times words are used figuratively okay so continue uploading um your keywords each week this week we're in week five if you haven't done so already please go ahead and upload some words and words or phrases remember that each word should go on its own row so there's nothing wrong if you want to upload more than one word that you come across each week all right so this is our new vocabulary list we've got some good songs being uploaded as well to our top 40 ish our top 40 ish list so we're going to be starting to uh, listen to some songs we've got some good songs here already so feel free to upload your song we'll start listening to some of these songs randomly in class okay but go ahead and upload your song if you haven't done so already yesterday we also looked at a third spreadsheet tongue twisters tongue twisters is also going to be an activity to help with our pronunciation so try to find a tongue twister try to find a, a longer tongue twister of about 20 words if you can okay um i think there was one that was quite long i think this one here could actually be divided into or maybe another uh, classmate could uh, help with this one because this is kind of long so i would divide this one up into two uh maybe another classmate two different people because uh, that looks like a, a tough one um, but i would try to find a longer one not not just one line but try to find one with at least 20 words okay so if you haven't done so already please upload your tongue twister okay so yesterday we introduced these three excel spreadsheets and i'm asking that uh, each one of you please go into these and upload the information all righty yesterday also we looked at what makes a true friend we uploaded a video in flipgrid and we responded to our classmates by asking a question and hopefully you've had a chance to answer your partner's question here in flipgrid all right so when you upload try to include a comment like if you're going to ask a question if i want to ask vanessa a question hello right try to add a comment to vanessa's video right so notice that i go into vanessa's uh video and i can leave a comment for her but i'm already in uh, vanessa's uh kind of space here her video all right so from here i can add a comment and that way the comment the question that i want to ask is directly under vanessa's video then vanessa can come in she's can she can come into her own space and leave a comment to answer the question all right so if you have not done so already please make sure that you've asked your partner a question if you have not done so already please go ahead and answer your partner's question in flipgrid all right any questions about uh, the flipgrid assignment or the spreadsheets that we talked about yesterday no teacher no no teacher okay all right today my friends today my friends we're going to do a different activity one we haven't really done before and let me open up here let 
And I have to reshare my screen. All right, today what we're going to do is I'm going to play a story. It's an audio file. It's a story that lasts about four minutes. And we're going to listen to the story several times this morning. We're going to listen to the story to try to get as much detail about the story as possible. But it's really important that you follow the directions as I, as I give the in, in instructions. I'm going to give you very specific instructions. So to get the most out of this task, this exercise today, please follow the instructions exactly as I as I explain and you will get the most out of this experience okay so I'm we're gonna listen to the story a couple of times several times we're gonna talk about it I may ask you some questions about the story to check your listening comprehension after we listen to the story several times after we've talked about the story then we're going to go into our breakout rooms and I'm going to give you the rest of the class to try to recreate the story that you're going to listen to. All right, so this task is divided into two parts. The first part is to listen several times to the story to get as much detail as possible. And then you're going to have an opportunity to recreate the story. When I say recreate, I mean you tell the story with as much detail as possible, but in your own words. You're going to be able to work together with your group, with your team, but this is an individual assignment in that each of you will be able to recreate your story in your own words. Everybody will recreate the same story in his or her own words. So we're going to begin now listening to the story. And the first time we listen to the story, I want you to just listen. Do not take notes. Try to concentrate as much as you can on understanding as much as you can. And I know this is hard. For four minutes... But nonstop focus on what's being said, the story, and trying to just relax and try to get as much information as possible. Do not write or type any notes this first time. Okay? Just listen to the story and let me go ahead and open this up. The rain spread. Okay, can everybody hear the audio before I start? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so here we go. This is the first time we hear the story. Again, no notes. Just relax and try to focus as much as you can. Try not to be doing anything else in the background. All right, don't check emails, right? Just focus 100% as long as you can on this four minute story. All right, here we go. Maybe. The rain spread gently along the ceiling above us as mom put another kettle on the stove. I remember it well because it was part of her morning routine making coffee for dad as he got ready for work. It would be years later before I realized the commitment required to continue to help my brothers and I get ready for school, prepare dad's lunch, and get herself ready for work as well. She never complained. Preparing lunch for Bob, Michael, and me was no easy task. Admittedly, we were picky eaters, and rarely did we enjoy the same foods. From oldest to youngest, two years between each of us, Bob liked bologna sandwiches. Michael enjoyed hot dogs, and I could eat chicken soup every day and never grow tired of it. 
Dad would eat anything and seldom came home with any food left in his lunchbox. Both Mom and Dad helped with our homework in the evenings, but Dad to a lesser degree since he arrived two hours later than Mom. When we knew we needed help, we would watch the clock strike five with homework spread across the dining room table. We knew we only had a short time before Mom would ask us to clear and set the table so we could eat the moment Dad got home. After dinner, I remember the wonderful conversations we would have while washing dishes, allowing Mom some time for herself. Mom could be found playing with the dogs, reading a good book, or visiting with friends, depending on her mood. When you are young, you don't always appreciate the work involved in balancing work and family. Years later, I realized a hidden talent that Mom never shared with us growing up, a desire to become a writer. In fact, she had written several novels over the years that she never considered publishing until we were in high school. When she published her first book, I remember it well. I just had started driving, Michael was graduating from high school, and Bob was finishing his second year of medical school. We couldn't afford an extra car, so all three of us relied on public transportation to get around. I remember, though, the first time I entered a bus to see a perfect stranger reading intently Mom's new book. It was precisely at that moment I began to reflect on how much time it had to take to dedicate to such a project. Writing a book while helping us get ready for school, helping us with our homework and fixing dinner, to have such a desire to do something while never mentioning it, but doing it, finding the time to dedicate to such an endeavor while showing such love and dedication to the family was amazing to me now. How many people talk about wanting to do big projects or have such high pursuits only to find out later they lack the dedication to see it through? How many people make excuses for not getting the job done? Not mom. That's what I learned from her. Find what drives you, what motivates you to get up in the morning. It's easy to complain about the current situation. It's easy to blame others for not completing a task. What's more difficult is to have the determination to start something and finish it. I think my brothers and I got the same drive from our parents as we all completed college and each became a writer. Bob finished medical school, but became a writer right away with never having practiced. Michael graduated with honors from Yale in communications, and I graduated with a history degree from a local state school. When we gather each Christmas with Dad, we sit for hours remembering the great times we had growing up and how Mom was always there for us. We always discuss in amazement how many people depended on mom over the years. This was evident when people from around the world would come to pay their final respects. Mom never lectured. She never talked down to us. She treated us with respect and often modeled the behavior that she would expect from us. Now, with our own kids, we are paying it forward the best way we know how. Now, when I hear the light rain spread gently across the ceiling... I think of mom. All right. So what do you think? What's the, the main point of this story? And you can, uh, you can unmute your mic. You can also post in the chat. What do you think? What's the, what do you think? The main point of the story? It will be things that a mom do. Okay, things that uh, that mom did or sh- that she does. Okay, good. Anybody else? I think is some reflection that you can do whatever you want if you put a lot of I don't know who to say. Um, well, if you want to do, you can do. Okay, so to have determination, you can do whatever you set your mind out to do if you make a lot of effort. I think someone mentioned that. Yes, very good. Good comments. Anybody else?
What are some details, or let's let's let me back up. What are some key words? What are some key words from the story that you remember? Any key words? And so I think routines. Okay. Or habits. All right. Routines or, or habits. Good. Dog. I'm sorry, can you say that again, please? A dog. A, a dog? Okay, a dog. Good. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Sorry, uh, try to, if you can try to speak up, because I, some of you are really soft. Any other keywords? Mom. It could be uh, your mother. Okay, mother. Brothers. Can you say that again, please? Uh, brothers. Okay, brothers. Good. Brothers. Anybody else? Mm, job. 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 I don't know if. Mm -hmm. Yes, job. Conversations. Conversations. Okay, good. Motivation. Sorry, can you say that again? Motivation. Motivation. Good. Motivation. As we're bringing up these keywords now, I'd like for you to take some notes. Write down anything that you recall from the story, anything that we've mentioned. So far, we've mentioned a lot of good keywords. Write down if you're, it can be just a piece of paper or it can be electronic if you have a notepad or a Microsoft Word document, whatever is easiest. Write down what we're talking about in terms of the key point, right? The main idea of the story and any keywords. Any other keywords, guys, that come to mind after listening to the story? One time. Any other keywords? All right, try to write out uh, all these keywords in your notepad and uh, or your notebook. Talked about motivation, dedication, jobs, brothers. Mother, reflection, anything else? Any other key words? Write those down in your notes. We're going to listen now to the story a second time. Now, this time, I would like for you to, as you're listening, take as many notes, write down whatever you hear, check the words that you've already written, to see if you need to add to those words or if you need to replace any words that you already have in your notes. But this time, as you listen for the second time, add information to your notes as you listen. All right, let's listen now to the story a second time, and let's try to get more information from the story in terms of the general idea as well as any specific details. Here we go. The rain spread gently along the ceiling above us as Mom put another kettle on the stove. I remember it well because it was part of her morning routine, making coffee for Dad as he got ready for work. It would be years later before I realized the commitment required to continue to help my brothers and I get ready for school, prepare Dad's lunch, and get herself ready for work as well. She never complained. Preparing lunch for Bob, Michael, and me was no easy task. Admittedly, we were picky eaters, and rarely did we enjoy the same foods. From oldest to youngest, two years between each of us, Bob liked bologna sandwiches. Michael enjoyed hot dogs, and I could eat chicken soup every day and never grow tired of it. Dad would eat anything and seldom came home with any food left in his lunchbox. 
Both mom and dad helped with our homework in the evenings, but dad to a lesser degree since he arrived two hours later than mom. When we knew we needed help, we would watch the clock strike five with homework spread across the dining room table. We knew we only had a short time before mom would ask us to clear and set the table so we could eat the moment dad got home. After dinner, I remember the wonderful conversations we would have while washing dishes, allowing mom some time for herself. Mom could be found playing with the dogs, reading a good book, or visiting with friends, depending on her mood. When you are young, you don't always appreciate the work involved in balancing work and family. Years later, I realized a hidden talent that mom never shared with us growing up, a desire to become a writer. In fact, she had written several novels over the years that she never considered publishing until we were in high school. When she published her first book, I remember it well, I just had started driving, Michael was graduating from high school, and Bob was finishing his second year of medical school. We couldn't afford an extra car, so all three of us relied on public transportation to get around. I remember, though, the first time I entered a bus to see a perfect stranger reading intently Mom's new book. It was precisely at that moment I began to reflect on how much time it had to take to dedicate to such a project. Writing a book while helping us get ready for school, helping us with our homework and fixing dinner, to have such a desire to do something while never mentioning it, but doing it, finding the time to dedicate to such an endeavor while showing such love and dedication to the family was amazing to me now. How many people talk about wanting to do big projects or have such high pursuits only to find out later they lack the dedication to see it through? How many people make excuses for not getting the job done? Not mom. That's what I learned from her. Find what drives you, what motivates you to get up in the morning. It's easy to complain about the current situation. It's easy to blame others for not completing a task. What's more difficult is to have the determination to start something and finish it. I think my brothers and I got the same drive from our parents as we all completed college and each became a writer. Bob finished medical school, but became a writer right away with never having practiced. Michael graduated with honors from Yale in communications, and I graduated with a history degree from a local state school. When we gather each Christmas with Dad, we sit for hours remembering the great times we had growing up and how Mom was always there for us. We always discuss in amazement how many people depended on mom over the years. This was evident when people from around the world would come to pay their final respects. Mom never lectured. She never talked down to us. She treated us with respect and often modeled the behavior that she would expect from us. Now with our own kids, we are paying it forward the best way we know how. Now, when I hear the light rain spread gently across the ceiling... I think of mom. All right, now check your notes. Go ahead and update your notes as much as possible. Anything that you recall from the story, in addition to what you had before you listened to the story. What are what is some additional information or some additional details that you got from the story after now listening to it for a second time? Well, I put two more ideas. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Who? Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Uh, what, uh, what, what else did you get from the story? Some details. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I have, I put more two ideas, and I put things that mom do, and... The other idea is mom have time for all. Okay, so mom had time for everyone. And what did mom do? Did you have anything in your notes about what she did specifically? Like doing her book. Okay, writing a book. Anything else? 
What else did mom do? Sorry, go ahead. Can you say that again? Cooking for the family. All right, cooking for the family. Anything else? Chores? Yeah. I'm looking here at the chat. What else? Uh, so I think that, bueno, I hear that some people have excuses for do something, but we have to put dedication and determination to start something and finish it. Right, so some people make excuses for maybe not completing a task, but mom showed dedication, right, for completing the many different tasks that she had to complete. What else did mom do in the story? Do you remember anything else that she did? Um, she published her first book, or some, I hear something like that, but mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. Okay, so she published her first book. Anything else? Now, as we're talking, guys, as we're sharing this information, constantly check your notes and add information. Anything that we're talking about, if it's not in your notes, add it to your notes. Okay? Anything else that uh, that mom did from this story? Uh, she was graduated for by the medical school. Okay, all right, so go ahead and include that in your notes as well. Good, anything else? She, she died, don't. Okay, she died, all right. She died, she passed away. She died, anything else? You also had time for her. Um, she needs to be uh, doing other activities. Right. So she Bye. made mm -hmm. she made time for herself. She made time for herself. How did she make time for herself? Any examples of ways that she made time for herself from the story? Yeah, I heard that uh, she could be playing cards or yeah, cards with her friends or depending on her mood, uh, mm -hmm. would be uh, doing another other activities. Right. But I remember uh, being with her friends. All right. So one way she made time for herself was being with her friends. Make sure that you're updating your notes as we are speaking, as we're talking as a group. Please add to your notes anything that you need to add. Any other ways that from the story that she made time for herself other than being with her friends? Uh, play with her dog. Playing with her dog. Okay, good. Anything else? Teacher, can I read my keywords? Sure. Because I post them, but I think my internet is so slow. Sure. What are your keywords? Um, I wrote routine, young, work, family, writer, growth, book, dedication, motivation, determination, or support. Good. Those are all really good keywords. Make sure all of you have at least some key words or ideas, right, that we're talking about, that we're all sharing as a group. All right, update your, your notes. We're going to now listen to the story a third time. This is going to be the last time. Really check your notes. As we are sharing ideas as a group, make sure that you're updating your notes. As you're listening to the story for a third time, the last time, check your notes. There may be some words that you can add or maybe some ideas that you can add to your notes. There might be some uh, information in your notes that you need to remove. Listen to the story again. Check your notes. And continue to add to your notes 
as you listen to the story this last time. Okay, so let me share my screen again. This up and running. All right, here we go. The rain spread gently along the ceiling above us as Mom put another kettle on the stove. I remember it well because it was part of her morning routine, making coffee for Dad as he got ready for work. It would be years later before I realized the commitment required to continue to help my brothers and I get ready for school, prepare Dad's lunch, and get herself ready for work as well. She never complained. Preparing lunch for Bob, Michael, and me was no easy task. Admittedly, we were picky eaters, and rarely did we enjoy the same foods. From oldest to youngest, two years between each of us, Bob liked bologna sandwiches. Michael enjoyed hot dogs, and I could eat chicken soup every day and never grow tired of it. Dad would eat anything and seldom came home with any food left in his lunchbox. Both mom and dad helped with our homework in the evenings, but dad to a lesser degree since he arrived two hours later than mom. When we knew we needed help, we would watch the clock strike five with homework spread across the dining room table. We knew we only had a short time before mom would ask us to clear and set the table so we could eat the moment dad got home. After dinner, I remember the wonderful conversations we would have while washing dishes, allowing mom some time for herself. Mom could be found playing with the dogs, reading a good book, or visiting with friends, depending on her mood. When you are young, you don't always appreciate the work involved in balancing work and family. Years later, I realized a hidden talent that Mom never shared with us growing up, a desire to become a writer. In fact, she had written several novels over the years that she never considered publishing until we were in high school. When she published her first book, I remember it well, I just had started driving, Michael was graduating from high school, and Bob was finishing his second year of medical school. We couldn't afford an extra car, so all three of us relied on public transportation to get around. I remember, though, the first time I entered a bus to see a perfect stranger reading intently Mom's new book. It was precisely at that moment I began to reflect on how much time it had to take to dedicate to such a project. Writing a book while helping us get ready for school, helping us with our homework and fixing dinner, to have such a desire to do something while never mentioning it, but doing it, finding the time to dedicate to such an endeavor while showing such love and dedication to the family was amazing to me now. How many people talk about wanting to do big projects or have such high pursuits only to find out later they lack the dedication to see it through? How many people make excuses for not getting the job done? Not mom. That's what I learned from her. Find what drives you, what motivates you to get up in the morning. It's easy to complain about the current situation. It's easy to blame others for not completing a task. What's more difficult is to have the determination to start something and finish it. I think my brothers and I got the same drive from our parents as we all completed college and each became a writer. Bob finished medical school, but became a writer right away with never having practiced. Michael graduated with honors from Yale in communications, and I graduated with a history degree from a local state school. When we gather each Christmas with Dad, we sit for hours remembering the great times we had growing up and how Mom was always there for us. We always discuss in amazement how many people depended on mom over the years. This was evident when people from around the world would come to pay their final respects. Mom never lectured. She never talked down to us. She treated us with respect and often modeled the behavior that she would expect from us. Now, with our own kids, we are paying it forward the best way we know how. Now, when I hear the light rain spread gently across the ceiling, I think of mom. All right. Now, the next step in today's task is to take your notes and get into the same groups that we've been working with uh, this week, this last couple of weeks. And when you go into your groups, I would like for you to create a meeting, record the meeting, And I'd like first that you work together as a team 
to share each other's notes, ask each other each other questions about the story to try to get again as much information about the story in terms of the details, the sequence of events because now your job is to retell the story. You heard a story, now you're going to retell a story. I would like for you to work together as a team to help each other prepare to retell this story. I want you to try individually to recreate the story and tell the story to your classmates. Once you've prepared as a team, once you've compared notes, once you've updated your notes, and you've created either in your notes or maybe a separate mind map or maybe an outline to help remind you about the order in which you want to tell the story, I want you to retell the story individually with your classmates, right? So in your meeting that's being recorded, right, when you finish, you should have a recording of each of you retelling the same story. Use your own words. This is not about everybody writing out. In fact, don't write out anything. This is to create in your own words the essence of the story. What do I mean by essence? The order of events. Try to capture as many details about the story as possible. That's something that you can work together as a team to do. But the retelling of the story should be done individually, again, in your recorded meetings. What I'm going to do when we finish today is to go and access each of your recordings, and I will cut out all of the talk and, and only include the story of each each of your uh, each of your stories. I'm going to have at the end each of your stories in uh, the the uh, recording. So remember that when you finish today and you recorded your meeting, please upload it to the files section. Create week five as Team One has done here. If you're looking at my uh, screen, and upload the audio from today's activity to this folder. I would include the name of the file. I would name it, you know, tell a story. If you just want to call it story, that's fine. Just to differentiate it from the other recordings, maybe that you might have for week five. That's what I would like for us to work on. I want to give you the rest of today to do this task. Okay. So again, talk about it as a team, then begin uh, retelling the story. If you want to practice a couple of times, that's that's fine. But record everything, right? And if you need to share a document, if you want to share a document as a team to put ideas and notes together, that's fine. If you want to do it individually, each person writing their own notes, that's fine. You decide how you want to work together as a team. The last thing I would ask is that when you write, when you uh, tell your story, begin by stating your name. State your name and then tell the story. Okay, that way we can include your name for each of the stories for the final recording. All right, are there any questions, guys, about the second part of today's task? No, oh, okay, no, I'm going to be online. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. I will be online if there are any questions uh, that you're facing during the rest of the task, and we'll come back in about an hour, and at about 9.40, we will come back to close today's task, uh, today's class. All right, guys, so go ahead and break out into your teams and uh, get started. So we can hang up, right, teacher? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Uh I said we can go out of this call, right? Yes. If you guys need to uh, leave this class 
and uh, because of internet or whatever, that's fine. Uh, just come back at 940. Uh, this will not affect your attendance, right? So the attendance is, uh, I see when you guys come and go. So as long as you're here at some part of the class, you get counted for attendance, right? So don't worry about that. Go ahead and uh, leave the class and just come back at 940 so we can close the class and if you have any other final questions, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, we are... We are recording. <laughs> so... We say your keywords. Mm, yes, uh, my keywords are job, motivation, mother, uh, routine, family, what the mom do, um, cook, uh, school, uh, home, and creo que ya. And my story is when he was young, her mother played the roles of family and he remember well because it was the routine mornings. Uh, the mother cooked to his and Michael uh, the same food. Then they went to school and they worked, worked in family. The mom cooked or sometimes uh, she get she got uh, out with her friends or read a good book, and he and he asked himself how many people depend on mom, and now she died. Oh, okay, it's my turn now. Okay. Um, my keywords uh, are book, motivation, mother support, routine, and family, cook, cook, <laughs> uh, book, work, and roles. And my well, the story that I understand is that his mom cooks for his children when they're young and bake a great role in his family and write a book and his mom died and become an inspiration figure for them about motivation and determination. And okay. So, I stopped the recording now? Well, I don't know. Well, um, um, what? <laughs> the keywords, um, keywords were mother, support, family, uh, food, motivation, and, um, okay. Responsibility and now what? Roles and I think that's it. Uh, well, the history was basically had this boy talking about um, the roles of his mother when he was young so after he wrote a book i think and his mother became uh hi a source i think that's the word of motivation and and that's it you can stop the recording now okay well thank you partners <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm sleeping. 
all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I'm> so tired. <laughs> Fine. Well, I will make um this story about um story class. I make two any details. And so I'm gonna read. Uh, the first is uh, <clears throat> the story begins with the daily routine. Routine in the morning, the mother prepares breakfast for the couple of children. When they are at a school, she always prepares the same for both of them in their lunch boxes. When they got home, he would play the, with the dog as well as wash the dishes while they did the homework then she would clean the table and they would start eating as well and having wonderful conversation as time went by the children grew up and they and she began to write and they published her first book and they allow her children to have determination dedication and motivation to create by project regardless of the circumstance and the and that when you start something you have to finish it he was impressed because his mother had the time to write a novel while also taking care of him and his brothers for him his mother was an example that if you you propose something you can achieve it there are not excuses for not fulfilling your dreams if and you really want to take them come true. The reflection that you is that you can do whatever you want as long you set your mind to it and be constant. So well, um, this is the end. I think so. Okay, uh, I have a question. The mother is tired. I don't hear that, so I can say yes or no. Me neither. I don't hear that. Yeah, I think so. Well, I hear that Adan say that he dies, but I don't know. Yeah, I know. So? Well, um, what do you think about our story? <clears throat> ¿Qué es lo que piensan a base de, su, de la historia? ¿Qué aprendieron? Que los... Ay, no, that the... Este, dreams... ¿Cómo se dice? Se pueden hacer realidad si tú te lo propones. And you, Leo, what do you learn? Um, I learned... Um, one sentence and um, they say that when you start something you have to finish it and this is really correct and it's very true because when you start something any project or any homework you have to finish always no matter what and yeah Okay, so that's it. Yes. Another Anybody question, else? another thing to add. No. <laughs> I think no. <laughs> okay, so goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. See you later. Hello, how are you? Hi. Uh, Hi, thank you. And you? Oh, very Hi. good. <laughs> very good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is the document in the week three? Yes, week three. One. Oh, yes. Appearance. So, um, let me. Let me open my document. Yes.
Uh, Today we are going to to start writing the solution, no? Yes, because I think that we have already uh, a lot of information about the problem, so we can um, to how can I say? Um, to explain the problem. Yes, the solution. Very, or the solution. Yes. For, for the problem and uh, we have. So, hello, good morning. We are the team and COVID. Where together we are stronger. This video is being cre created to help those people who we can we will change that verda for the yeah. this video is being created to help to those mm -hmm. yes. uh, to those students mm -hmm. de la UA yes <laughs> Are you sleeping? No. <laughs> no, I'm in the outing. Al cien. To kill those. Oh, let me. And. Two <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Not gonna happen again. Sorry, sorry. I hope I hope we say that. Students, don't were worry. <laughs> suffering. House of their parents. Yeah. Lost jobs, and they cannot pro provide them money to pay the university. Yes. Yes. I wait. Money. Money. Money in <laughs> English. <laughs> uh, wait. Money. Money to pay the university. Wait, ya me per Wait, dije no. <laughs> <laughs> ya me perdí. <laughs> <laughs> this is, hello, good morning. Welcome. Uh, no. Hello, good morning. We are the team anti COVID, where together we are stronger. This video is being created to help those students who are suffering because of their parents lost their jobs and they cannot provide the money to pay the university. Yes. You will now. And no, oh, let wait. me check. Wait, wait, wait. You will now be back. We can put that. Wait. Wait. <laughs> We can say, come. Wait, let me open the the file in my computer because you will know the big impact that the pandemic is having in this ambit too. Ah, <gasps> <laughs> 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 
Borraste todo. <risa> Espera, no te sale la de por la flechita, ya. pues. Ya, ya. ¿Quién lo cerró yo? No. ¿No te parece nada? Nadie. Oh, I just can't. Sí, I... ya, ya está. Ah, ok. I got... Ah, yes. Se me hace que la Jacqueline lo estaba subrayando. Y quiero borrar. <risa> no. <risa> She was fucking... You stay in... Mm. In the first paragraph. No, borrar la palabra. Y it was highlighted. Y que se borra. <laughs> okay, luego tenemos. We found the problem about job losses and problems in the economy during the pandemic. Because many businesses and factories stopped working. They had to admit a lot of people because they didn't have enough money to solve the business and pay to the workers. Mm. <laughs> The role of the anti-COVID team is to try to complain those people who are suffering the situation to give them advice about how okay, those students instead of people. I don't know And I don't know what happened, but I'm here now. So, in which part are we? In the role. Trends. What? Yeah. In the role, no, sir? Yeah. Or to um, those students who are supporting the situation to give them advice about how to do it. Okay, let's see. The last year, a new virus appeared in China. This virus is called coronavirus. The spread of the virus around the world caused a pandemic. This pandemic produces many important issues in the world. These issues are lockdown, the death of people, now school and economy, and unemployment. These two last issues we are going to analyze. In the first half of 2020, the equivalent of 4 million full-time jobs were low. <laughs> What? Oigan, pues, I think que con esa información is enough. The Spanish has food. Me too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Me oh me my cuenta. gosh, I love that. <laughs> yes. With, um, what? I think, I think, that with this information, it's enough. I know. I know. Yes. Because, yeah, we already explained the problem So, uh, ah, you said about the problem. Yes, I think that with this information is enough because if we if we write more, uh, we we, we are going to take more time dying, dying, than four minutes. Yes, yes, and we. Or are what do you? Yes, because if we add more or another problem. We have to add it in the solution too, and this will be a lot. Yes, I agree. In which paragraph are, is the solution? Yeah. We are going to write it now. Apenas. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so let's check that. Yeah. More than half people in Mexico. Hmm. What can yeah. how can we organize this information or oh uh, no, I don't know 
What information? That more than five people or what? No, the, the whole information that we have already. Uh, ¿La dejamos así como está o, o mm. movemos algo? Yes, no. I think that... And which paragraph? The road? <laughs> <laughs> Todo el text. Oh. Todo el text. <laughs> I am mm. saying that si I think quieren change algo or do you prefer add something more or or what what you piensan? Okay. <laughs> well, me, okay. I think que nada más le podemos dar una acomodadita mm -hmm. y ya queda yes, el problema. That, uh, that says hello, good morning. That's cool in this place now because it is like the introduction or the uh -huh. the the bienvenida. <laughs> I think that uh, for for example, um, no, I think que eso sí está bien. Nada más sería acomodarlo de a partir de the last year. A new Year's Apparel en China, que eso sí queda así como, porque hay una que otra oración, sí, ahí como suelta. Yes. A ver, hold up here, a new Year's Apparel en China, this virus is called coronavirus. The spread of the virus around the world caused a pandemic. This pandemic produces many important issues in the world. This issue started lockdown. In this moment, talk in the in the call. Oh, the back is nine forty. So we may continue in the night or in the afternoon or yeah. in the night is better. Yes, yes if you want in the night. In the yeah. nine o'clock, it's okay or okay. no? At night. At night. Okay. At or night. yes, at night. Yes, at night to start writing the the solution. And reaccommodate this text. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, well, Jacqueline, <laughs> Jacqueline, what? Uh, Jacqueline, could you try to upload the the meeting, la grabación? Yes. Ahí te la de. I I where uh close uh where is the document in the in the group? Uh, I think Jackie uh, share my screen. <laughs> yes. My screen. <laughs> but she didn't create in a group in the group. But that's good one no? that she co uh, she can write it the things that we said. Or we do a uh, a document compartido. Jacqueline, mm. the document is shared or yes. is in your report? It's in, in the meeting. The one, well, but see, I share my screen. You see my screen or not? Yes, but you, you first that if you do a document, 
podcast in the channel where we all of we can edit. But no for she create a document in in her computer can write. Okay. So, so we will we say we will say you the ideas, Jacqueline. Mm. You will write. Um, I put the topic or my ideas in the docu document. Put the topic and and which and we are going to history or on what? Um, yes. <laughs> okay. What was the first that you heard? Uh oh. I think that she he said that he remembered the morning routines. Mm -hmm. When the um, um, yes, no. When he said that uh, his mom prepared the breakfast or something like that. Yes, the mother prepared a uh, lunch for. The, mm -hmm. for he and his brothers. Yes. For he and his brothers. I put the the idea. Yes. Wait. <laughs> yes. Put. Mm. Oh. What is the idea? Again, please. Okay. His mom prepared in past. Yes, verdad. I... <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you. His mom prepared a lot. His mom Prepare lunch uh, for he and her brothers. His brother, sorry. His mom prepare prepared lunch and for his. Uh, only after lunch is for his. His mom prepared lunch only after. What? Uh, uh, his mother prepared lunch for. Uh, for what? <laughs> for for he and his brothers. <laughs> Only after. <laughs> uh, his mom prepared lunch for he and his brothers. And what more? What more did you understand? Uh, other idea is mm. that. Talk. Could we talk about the project now? Uh, in the story, oh, many people talk about of projects and excuse. I think I never uh, remember. Yes, but first were that the mother helps in the house in the evening. Is all right? Yes. 
In which the part mother, is where, where he says that? Mother. The mother what? The mother helped. Helped. Uh, in the house. In the house. In the, in the evening. The evening? In the, no, in the evening. Okay. Um, what more? In which part is when he says that um, I, something about soup that the um about food that he says that his brother oh yes know, yeah and he uh, so uh, i think that's the end of the idea that yes. we wrote about his mom prepared lunch no yes but i don't know which food uh we can say um uh, I remember that they each son preferred one specific food. Oh I write it. Yes. Uh, uh Bob preferred sandwiches, Michael hot dogs, and he preferred chicken soup. soap. I put that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. After the first, you can write that. Between the first and between the second. Again, please. <laughs> Después de esa idea, escribe la que te vamos a decir. Después de la primera. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Put punt or, or coma. Ponle. Coma, ¿no? Ajá. Ok. Uh, uh, pone Bob preferred. Bob. ¿Así? Ajá. Bob. Uh, Bob. Bob. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Bob. 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 We beat Bob. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bob. Prefer. Bob. Prefer sandwiches. Uh, Michael. Hot dogs. Hot? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Hot dogs and he preferred chicken soup. And he or, or is a name? He prefer chicken so oh. hey. hey ahí está uh, luego I understand uh, it said the mother help in the house in the evening and after that I understand that he said that after dinner they had a uh, wonderful conversations. Yes. Yes, after dinner. I know. Yes, after dinner. Mm, we can wrote uh, awesome conversation uh, after dinner, no? Like the uh, ID. Yeah. Yes. Put it. Uh, Jackie. Yes. After? No, but another idea. Okay. 
Which is the idea? Eh, I what can I say? Uh, uh, awesome conversations. Also, I bet. Awesome. And mm, our some conversations after dinner after dinner yes. And then uh, it says that of the book, no? Uh, I remember that said something like that if you want, if you wanted to find the mother, uh, no, no, that the mother made time for herself. No. Ah, uh, yes. Y ah. Y and after, era lo del libro. Okay, the, yes. The, the mother, mother may have may tame tame time madre Time for herself. For her? For her, herself. S E. Sí, sí, estaba bien. <laughs> for her. Self. Self. Pero. It's okay, the word self. Or no? No, it's self. How do you spell? <laughs> S E L F. S. Uh huh. F F. E. No. Es que no los escucho bien, o sea, como que tienen su... Ay, ay. A ver, quítale, quítale el espacio. Así, no. Así, no. Así, es I S E L F. Sí, ¿no? Así. Yeah. For yourself. Ajay, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, Yes. Then another idea. And now is that a book? Uh -huh. What? Uh, we she can wrote... put that. She wrote a book. Yes. Uh. A book. It was about. Uh, Other idea. Monday. Other idea. No, but yes. what he he says it was about. It is mentioned. I don't know. I know. But well, another idea. Uh, she wrote the book and she published. Oh. <laughs> Publish it. Mm. 
Anshipu it, no? Aha. Isn't it? It not? I. No. It. Okay. Mande? No, no. Uh, so after that, Kera, I remember something like, um, uh, like Michael was studying in high school and Bob medical uh, school. Yes. yes, I. He says that when she published yes, when the no? the book, yes, I think I read it. Wait. Yes, I I remember something like uh, when she published the book. Uh, Bob, digo, Michael was in high school and Bob was ending the medical school. Uh -huh. uh, after the this idea or you know that. If you uh, wait a moment. Puedes ponerle en, la, en esa misma, en la de She Published It. Why? What? Why? W H L E. W. W H. Uh, it's not a, but instead of la, es y latina. Andale. While Bob. Uh, I, I wrote that he was start driving. The a boy that relates the history, but. Bob was in elementary and Michael in high school or something like that. Uh, I, but Bob, so, Bob was in medical school. Bob was in medical school. Uh, what was doing este oh, yeah. Michael in the high school? Michael, yes. Michael. And he... Are you alive, Jackie? <laughs> Michael, I I don't remember nothing about no, Michael. No, oh, what? Right. Right. No. <laughs> que estaban las nubes. <laughs> Michael was in high school. Was in the high school. In high school. And high school. No. <laughs> high school. And he was start. Uh, he was learning to drive or something like that. No? To drive. Uh -huh. Starting learn to drive not you know learn to drive yes, no? yes. and after that um
uh, that like she reflects about how your mother create the project and how the mother uh, did a lot of things at the same time. I understand that. Yes. Yes. That's what our classmate says not that you have to to uh, like what? Like, you reflect it. Yeah. He reflected. About how. Her mother. Work. and do a lot of things of things or only things a lot of things at the same time and then what what do you remember that's all, no? Oh, I write something more. Uh, Activities. Can Michael, can Michael study, study communication and Bob studied medical, but que él también se convirtió en escritor, no? Algo así. Oh, jeez. I didn't hear that, but yes, if you hear it, we can put we can add it in the one two three four five in the five idea no in parentheses uh-huh so bob what do you say communication michael studied communication in this idea uh, then uh, the word school Michael, but he he talked about after years after that. Ah, uh, what did I say? Like in the actuality, something like in the actuality. Uh huh. Ah, so we we put another idea, no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, like so, now, um, wait. Oh, only years, ye years later, Michael studied communication. Bob. Bob become became as in became in a writer. Y no me acuerdo que dijo que él estaba estudiando. No, I don't remember. In a what? Ah, uh, in a writer, writer. Y no me acuerdo que, o así le podemos dejar, ¿no? Bob, Bob became in a writer. ¿Cómo se escribe esa palabra? W. Uh, así. Greater. Like write. Writer. Writer. Sí. Yes. Yeah. Y la última idea no. sería la última idea the mom would did. be like uh -huh, and they remember here and 
they try to do the same with their sons, no? Yes. And they remember. Yes. And they remember his mother or their mother or what they do? His mother. Mother. <laughs> mother. <laughs> and try to do the same with his sons. Why qué? His sons. No pusimos, no ponemos uh, la, something like the mother died. It's because I didn't hear that, but I think that uh, it happened. Yes, I didn't remember so it. In the idea, we can add the, his mother died and they, no, the mother died and they remember his mother and try to do the same. At the beginning, we can not his mother died. Each one. The mother died and uh, they no. remember? No, we are you already write that, so. That's all. His mother, la última y la antepenúltima van conectadas. We could say, his mother died and they remember his mother and try to do the same with his sons. Yes. So and now... We have to retell the story. Each yes, member has to say one. the story. Yes. Who begins? So if you want me. Okay. I can hear you. Okay. What? <laughs> when <laughs> his mother was died. Así. Así está bien. Okay. <laughs> okay. It is a history about a guy that one day he start to remember uh, the things, a lot of things about uh, his, I don't know how to say that, but I think it's infants, like infancia. And, childhood. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. About his childhood. So he remembered that in the mornings, his mom prepared lunch for him and his brother. And each one had a favorite food. For example, Bob prefers sandwiches, Michael hot dogs, and he prefers chicken soup. Um, he remembered too that his mother do housework in the evening and he helped to do a lot of things. And after all the dinners that they had, um, the family had awesome conversation with his mom. And his mom wrote a book and she published it. And all the time she um, was writing about her book, but she always, um, how do you say, trataba? Uh, tried. Ah, yes, thank you. But she always tried to make a time for herself. And um, when she uh, published uh, her book, Bob was in medical school. Michael in high school and he was starting to learn to drive. Um, 
two, she reflect about uh, how her mother work and do a lot of things at the same time because she always said to them that he has he that they has to have determination to start and finishing something and years later um i know sorry nowadays my cultural communication but become a writer and they always remember his mother like a good person and they try to do the same and yeah that's all okay my turn yes. okay what i understand is, is that it is a motivational story okay uh, the story said that he remembers uh, how were the childhood and the morning routines when his mother uh, prepared the lunch for for he and for his brothers, and he remembers that it was uh, it was not easy because each brother ha has a particular food. Uh, Bob prefers sandwiches, Michael hot dogs, and he chicken soup. He also said that the mother, his mother helped in the house in the evening around like two hours. And after dinner, they had a wonderful uh, conversation while they washing dishes. Uh, he added that mother made time his mother made time for herself uh, maybe visiting her his her friends uh, playing with the dog or reading a book I, he he learned a lot of her mother uh, because when they were children they didn't complain uh, what the mother do um, the mother uh, become writer. She write a book and published um, the book while Michael was uh, in high school and Bob was in the medical school. Uh, he also reflects about how your mother create that project, of, I mean that book, because the mother do a lot of things at the same time. He said that many people do not want to work, but her mother always was working. Uh, years later, uh, Michael studied communication. Bob studied medicine, but he also became a writer. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but I think that he said that the mother died and they remember he and her brothers remember that their mother always were with them and now they try to do the same things with her sons and that's all okay that's cool Jacqueline I like it Shut. so it's my that's turn <laughs> yes. yeah yeah um the story talk about about the roles in the family and activities um, about a family and the family are the mom and brothers and the morning <laughs> his mom prepared the lunch for he and his brother. Bob prefers sandwiches, Michelle hot dogs, and, and he prefers chicken soup. And the mother helped in the house in the evening. Mm, his mother 
died in I I don't know. <laughs> the the Bob was in a medical school and Michael was in high school and and he Michael started learn learn to drive and and this at the same time Michael study communication and Bob be, becoming in a writer. Um, um, years la later, um, his mother died and they remember, I don't know. <laughs> Her mother are <laughs> a pretty mom. Uh huh. Yes. That's all, Jacqueline. I think. Okay, I think that everyone do it very well. So we have to left the call because I think that the teacher has started the meeting again. Sorry. Yes. So. Well, so, let me stop recording. Um, back or oh yeah. Okay. Uh, hi guys. I'm gonna tell you the story that I understand with the main words, with the key words that I wrote. So, uh, I don't remember the main character's name but um he had a brother who is called michael and they always like were together and for example michael liked to make the hot dogs and their mom always uh, like cooked for them um all the the family help each other in the work house the work and family and even when she had work she had work house she had to make the dinner she had a lot of activities to to do she wrote a, a book and without excuses so she was the example for them to get up in the morning with motivation and to be someone in the life. Um, and her, his brother and the main character and like their studies, their careers, and they like, they have the same mentality of, of her mom. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I understand about the story. Well, in the history, in the story, the main character, uh, I can't remember his name, talk about all the things that his mom do, like cooking, um, go to work, take care of the family. And also she wrote her book and even she, she has time for uh, herself. And she, she played cards with her friends and when well, or depend of her mood and he remember all the things that he, his mom do 
and how do you say motivan motiva motivate motivate and motivate but se dice lo motivan se dice ah como que qué quieres decir como que lo motivaba a él ah uh, she motivated him she motiv motivated him uh -huh. to no no put excuse about the things that he 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 want to do yeah and yeah that's it I talk about that I understand a whole story. When his brother Michael and he wake up in the morning, the routine that they have every day was to go to work. Mm -hmm. The main character say and ask yourself why the people does not want to work they make they make excuse for not doing it. His mother prepared the dinner, and after she played with the dog, washed the dish. I remember that she took medicine. The main character apparently his mother died, and he and his brother at Christmas dinners miss her. A lot, even when they hear a noise from the door, they think it is here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I stop the record. Or... Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you ready for the video? <laughs> Yes, I'm ready. So let's begin with the project. So the last, last, last class, we have the introduction from the project. So I think we we have to do the, the body of the project. Yes, okay. Do you have your information yet? Mm, for me, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the moment, but uh, but I'm but I have to, but but I have to investigate and create more information from the part that I chose. Okay. So in the part of body of the project, we have to express and, and tell to the audience um, the difficulties and problems with online classes? Yes. So who, who want to begin the part of the body? Can you repeat please? Who want to who want to begin or start the part of the body? Um, me. So I remember 
Mm, we uh, chose a topic, the advantages. I don't know how to pro how I to pronounce advantages, mm -hmm. disadvantages, and um, of choices or alternatives to get a good relation from the online classes. Did you remember? Yes, I remember that. I remember that I'm going to start um, after Carlos and finally Maria. Okay, so I okay. so I begin or start with the part of the body. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I I didn't I didn't write. For the moment, nothing, nothing. But at the rest of the day, I, um, I'm reading some information for the part that I chose. It's disadvantages from my classes. Uh huh. Okay. And then I will share with you in in the files on this team. Okay. I have already some information, but um, so we are going to make the video on Friday. On Friday. Um, well, we have to upload the video on Friday. Uh, so what am I going to talk to you about? These adventures or alternatives mm, so i remember i i i uh, i will talk about these adventures and new maria de la cruz alternatives of choices but i'm not sure okay thanks so if you want um, today write a little part of information and tomorrow share in this from the meeting or in the file of the team yes today we're going to um, read and write some information for the presentation and tomorrow um, share here okay okay so we are going to make the video here in teams right or if no or each of us going to um, upload our video and after we are going to um, juntarlo, how do you say that? Join? No, 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 I don't know, I'm not sure. So I don't know, um, we have to, we have we have to love the video in Teams, but we have to make the video also in Teams, or or we can also make the video on this on camera or cell phone, and then we have to upload on Teams. I'm not sure. Yeah, me too. Me neither. So let's finish the meeting or we will continue. I don't know. I think we can finish the meeting. That's it, right? So can I finish this meeting? Mm, for me, yes. I don't know from Maria de la Cruz, if you want to finish the meeting. 
Yes, it's okay. Okay, so remember write your information for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, and continue. Forgive me if I disturbed you. Sorry? So forgive me if I disturbed you. <laughs> no, don't worry. And um, that's it. I have that only. Okay, and you, Maria de la Cruz, you have more points from problems of online classes to join with the points that I wrote. Uh, I believe that no. I think it's the the problem que es el mismo problema que tiene Daira. So if you want to um, write in the chat the, the points that I will join with the points that I wrote, it's okay to complete the idea from the problems of online classes. Um, so I think in this part, um, tell to the audience his experience from online classes one and a half minutes so i think it's a really good idea because we can express our experience and problems and solutions from online classes and that's it <laughs> yes i think so i think so So when we are going to make the video? Girls, so I think it's a great idea to take a break for um, five minutes in the middle of video to put up music or trailer, trailer for a movie. If you want to tell me one of what what what's a, one of them you would like to put in the middle of the video? I think music, but I don't know what song. And you, Maria? Her microphone is off, so... Me or... From Maria. Maria. Now, uh, okay, Maria, can you hear me? Mm, so, would you like to put in the middle of video a music or trailer for my movie? Well, later of the mm, the two can be, but. As long as you are said no. Can you repeat, please? Well, later of the two can be a two option is is good, but uh, I think that the music is more easier. No. So, okay. Let's put so a song we're going in to the middle. put music in the middle of the video. So, a music bar, right? Right, yes. Okay. 
So what what song would you like to put in the video? Or we can also put a video clip from a video. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, just for a few seconds for alargar the duration, I don't know who I mm -hmm. say duración del video. Mini alargar, alargar la duración del video. Yes. Just just few seconds. Yes, so when we are going to do the video, because we need edit in that. Mm, if you want to start with the video tomorrow. For me, it's OK. OK. Okay, so tomorrow we begin to the video and Thursday we have to talk for little details from the video modificaciones. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys. Okay, any questions from the video? <laughs> <laughs> no. So can I finish the, the meeting? I have a question. Yeah. We are going to record it on, on the call or who are we going? to do it. I have the same question because I don't know who who we are recording where no where do we are recording the video. I don't know if we can record in a cell phone or in Google Teams. I don't know. I have the same question. It's for Teams. It's here in Teams. We are going to um grab our the meaning. Okay, so the video is recording in Google Teams, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to finish that, this. Okay. Bye. 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 Okay, so what did you write of the audio? I write some keywords and incomplete <laughs> phrases. But keywords, yes, only keywords. <laughs> Me too. I was late for the meeting and I don't know what you were doing. But I write um, keywords. In the uh, audio. And listen. Lo que escucha el último, pues. Okay. And what key keywords did you write? Give me a moment. So for me, I wrote rain, habit, habits, or routines, coffee, brother, let with him home, homework, lunch, hot dogs, um, same foods, Michael, decide become a writer, 
excuses, respect, determination, need help, moment, get home, writing a good book, high school, dedicate a project, dedications, start something and finish him, Christmas that discuss from depending for mom. So I think that the actions that that the mom did are washing the washing the dishes, clear the table, die, I don't know, I'm not sure. Cooking, visit friends, playing with her dogs, and other keywords that I wrote is our moment reflection and find the time to do any project. You wrote many, um, many words. <laughs> I wrote motivation, reflection, lunch, sandwiches, hot dogs, high school, excuses, um, make coffee, read a book, school, brothers, enjoy the same lunch, mom and dad, homework, project, um, play with her dog, publish a book, morning routine, coffee, conversations, family, um, the brothers depend from the mom. And I think the mom that died. I read, prepared the breakfast, had with homework, wonderful talks at food. His mom published his first book, Relation with the Honors, Motivations, and the facts. Uh, not eraser. So each of each of us, we have to um, tell the story with own words, right? Yes. So who wants to begin? I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure because mm, we have to tell the story with own words mm, here in the meeting of the others of the class. Can you repeat, please? We have to tell the story with own with own words in this meeting or with the other classmates? Oh, in this meeting. Okay, so who wants to start or begin? I don't know. I am writing the little story with my own words, so give me a moment, please. Okay, don't worry. Do you know if the the history was told by someone in particular? I think we have to tell the story not the same not tanto the same story. Mm, I don't have idea how to how to explain to you. <laughs> so we have to tell the story, the same story with own words, right? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. I wrote the story, but it's very short. <laughs> don't worry. It's okay. Okay. I put um, 
My family and me have a morning routine. My mom make coffee in the morning as she prepare lunch for me, for my two brothers and me. She prepares sandwich, sandwiches and hot dogs for us. Then that, my mom make us to the school and help us with our homework. My mom tell us stories while she wash the dishes. She published his, her first book and we have conversations while he, no, sorry, while we are eating. Now, I think that we don't appreciate the work that mom do and many people depends for mom, of their mom. It's okay, it's a girl story. It doesn't matter the story is short. It's okay, it's really good. <laughs> Thank you. So who wants to be the next? I don't know. <laughs> if you want, you can do it. I'm not sure. I'm ne nervous. <laughs> Anxious. <laughs> I'm not uh, finished, but in in a moment, I'll, I will tell them. Okay, don't worry. Okay. So if you want to, I start the story. Yes. So this is my story. Mm, so I rem so I remember that moment of my life. How like yesterday was. So how was like yesterday? So the beginning it's mm, it's rain it's raining a lot. There's my, it's raining a lot in my, in my house. It's a, uh, I olvide, no, 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 no sé, por el momento no sé cómo empezar. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, so, mm, my story begins, I remember that moment of my life, like, like was yesterday. So it's raining a lot. It, that's my habit or routine. Uh, or not, my habit or routine always the same, always was the same. So my mom took, took a coffee and helped my brother with him homework. My brother, my brother's name is Michael. <clears throat> we have, we have the, we like the same food, take a lunch and we really like the hot dogs and my mom my, my mom decided to become a writer and she is writing a good book and then she went to publish publish her book mm, the chores the chores of my mom want to doing our washing the dishes clear the table cooking, visit her friends when she can do it, she can do it, um, playing with her dogs. <clears throat> so, um, so, in, so in Christmas, my dad and mother, um, the rest of the family talk about um, talk about depending of mom. For example, my mom always 
always says to me and the rest of the family, we have to put a mom high. No, no, no. So in Christmas, my dad and all the rest of the family discussed of depending on mom because my mom thinks that a lot of people have excuses to start something and finish him. And I think my mom always says we have to put determination, respect, and dedication from start something or and finish him. For example, um, um, project in this case, he published her book. So I think it's a moment of reflection because we have to find in the time to do anything, anything or something that we want to do. It's important to start something and finish him. And that was I learned with for my mom. It's important to begin and finish a project. We have to put determination, dedication, motivation, respect, and don't, don't have excuses for don't do the project or whatever you want to do in your life. <laughs> so this is my story. I hope you, you understand me. <laughs> I understand you. It was a good story. I love it. Good job. Sí, yo tampoco me entendí. <laughs> Maria, do you have your story? Yes, I'm finished. Okay. I remember the, that the first thing my mom did in the morning was to make coffee. Then she would prepare a breakfast for my brothers and me, make him Breakfast was not easy. Last at lunch, we had wonderful talks. We washed the dishes and then our parents helped us with our homework. Mom is a greeter. She graduated, graduated with honors and she published her first book. She is a motivating and determined person. I think their duty is not the same, <laughs> that is, but it is understood. Yes or no? Yes, I understand. Yes, me too. Maria, continue with your story, please. Or it's all. I'm finished. You finished? Oh, um, oh, so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe that is very short. No, don't worry. Your story is better is better than me. <laughs> Okay, so um, no, what are we going to do? I think that's all. Really? I think yes. Okay.
I want I want to say something. Um, I think our stories were mm, good, but don't worry if um, si sienten que no lo hicieron bien, porque we are learning so. Yes, I'm thinking the same because um, I write, I wrote a lot of ideas, but I can organize very well what what the first I saying next and finally. I feel that too, but. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, the next time is going to be first. So in my case, I wanted to write the dialogues from I want to say, but um, it's um, I only I only want to tell the story and only have the ideas, but but I think it's good write a story with the dialogues but i want to only have the keywords to develop more my pronunciation but but we are learning so we're not expect experts Yes, we are learning, so don't worry for that. Okay, so it's all for today. It's all activity, all right? Yes. Okay, if you want to stop recording the meeting, you can do it. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Espera, porque si tal, ah, aquí está. Hello. <laughs> so, Elizabeth, you can start with your information. Sí. Oh, it's recording now? Yes. Okay, well, yes. this that I, um, that I catch from the, from the audio that the teacher put was that, um, his brothers, like, I guess, um, eat sandwiches, hot dogs, chicken soup. Um, his brother's name, brother's name was, were Michael and Bob. Um, the routine of her mom in the morning and in the day was to make coffee to his father and the lunch for he and his brothers and I think that her mom was her mom that help help them with their homework and they wait until the father arrives to the house to have dinner and 
Um, oh, um, her mother become, became a writer and her first um, book was published when he um, and high school and he admired the dedication of his mom and the three of the three of her sons were uh, well both michael and and him was well became writers and i think that his mom passed away i think i am not sure and that's it that's all that i have <laughs> okay well um estefana and i the we don't connect at the hour we well yeah i was i connect like at 8 30 so i don't know what to do and i don't put a lot of tension to the audio so sorry and you stefan hmm. <laughs> okay mm, yeah So, um, I think that we can stop here, but what we know, um, after, it's after or before para decir antes? Before. Oh, sí. Yes. About that, you don't go to the call. <laughs> ¿Quién está hablando? <laughs> Estefana, pero deja de escribir. Okay, so I think that Stefana has problems with her microphone and audio. Mm. I but not come to class early. Um, she and me doesn't connect early, and yeah, so we don't mm. have information for for like help Ellie or help us to complete the information. So that's all. Ellie, you can stop the grabación. Do you want me to make the Word document? Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, I made it. I don't know if you can see it in files. 
Are we going to write them and tell them? Mm -hmm. Okay. So one of the ideas I wrote in my notebook was when someone is young, you don't really appreciate the hard work your parents your parents make for you like mm, the teacher's mom mm -hmm. you know he always well she always was there for them and tried to help them so i don't know if that's if i can write that <laughs> yeah yeah actually you uh, you're right okay so i'm going to write it down Okay, and in addition, he always made time for her. Um, he were, uh, she was working and she was uh, helping her, her children with, uh, with their homework, uh, preparing the lunch, mm -hmm. but actually had um, like her time to do another activity. Yes, I don't know if you want to write it down too. Or do you want me to write it for you? Uh, no, if you want, I can, I can um, write. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she also uh, became a writer, isn't it? Sí, yes. <laughs> she also became a writer. And actually, um, someone said that he graduated uh, of medicine, but I'm not sure. I think she is not the one who grad who graduate from medicine. So if you heard uh, something different, uh, I think it was Bob, the one who graduated from from medicine. Okay. Actually, I don't know if it has it has to be with the story, but. All of her sons, except one, I think, graduated uh, from university. I don't know if uh, I think it's also uh, uh, important because uh, because of uh, because of their mom, uh, they could gra graduate. <clears throat> Uh, I didn't hear um, if one of the sons graduated. Yeah, uh, one of them was uh, became a driver, um, I think. And the one who became a driver didn't graduate. Mm, yeah, I think I think so. Oh, okay. But I don't know if uh, you, uh, what do you think about it? I mean, uh, I think that they uh, graduated or they could, um, could do all of those things because of their mom, um, because of the dedication of, uh, of their mom. Yes, I, I think that too. Because if it wasn't for their mom helping them and support them, they wouldn't have graduated from college. And actually, one of her, 
one of her hobbies uh, was uh, reading books, but she also uh, she also had a project uh, which was uh, publishing a book. Okay. And I also heard that um, he said that when they started growing up, they realized all the hard work their mom was doing yeah. for them. I actually didn't realize he passed away. I, I didn't, I didn't know this, or I didn't hear it. Who passed away? <laughs> Uh, according to someone, uh, the mom passed away. Oh. But I'm not sure. I mean, someone said that, and uh, teacher Ben said, oh, yeah, <laughs> but I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, So yeah, she never complained about the time and she never uh, made excuses. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if you want to add something else. Mm. I wrote everything I wrote in my notebook. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to add something else? Um, well, I don't know. I, I mean, I I wrote so much, so many notes, but um, the, I mean, we have now the idea because uh, it was like a project time family complaint excuses and uh, something like that yeah and at the end in the end of the of the story uh, i could notice that the guy says that uh, people always complain and make excuses and actually, um, people blame others uh, because of uh, because of the things that they have made. Um, and they actually, uh, for not uh, for not doing their their work, their own work. Yes, I heard that too. Oh, let me check what's up because okay. oh, she couldn't enter. Uh, yeah, she in... couldn't enter. Okay. So what we are going to do is uh, with all of this information that we wrote, uh, we are going to, but I don't know if uh, we have to do it here, like record, uh, recording uh, ourselves or here in the team. I didn't understand that either. If we have to, record ourselves or do it here. <laughs> mm. 
uh, I don't know if you uh, if you want me to uh, if you want me to ask Mr. Bean. Yes, okay. if you. Okay, I, I don't know if you want to if you want to hang up and uh, stop recording the the audio and when I when I ask Peter Ben, uh, I can come back and and we can continue. Okay. okay. That we can make some example and put in some problems and solution in the video. No, this video or this meeting right now is about the history in the class. History? Yes, the history in the class. Mm. Well, the teacher in the class, like mm, five minutes ago, mm, shows a uh, history. And we took notes, so this uh, we're, we're gonna talk about this. Yes or no? Bueno, es que ya ves que el profe ahorita nos puso una historia. Entonces, este, vamos a hablar de la historia y de, y de las no, notas que cada quien tomó. Entonces, esta reunión es para eso, para hablar de la historia. Pero la historia de qué? Ok. Porque... La historia. Porque yo entré en, en la mañana y todo mm, temprano y, y no dijo nada, nada más dijo que, que iba hasta una junta, el profe. Pero ahorita ya ves que... Bueno, a ver, espérame, déjame pausar el video. ¿Eh? Sí, van a ser cinco minutos. Pues por eso tenemos que ensayar, mijito. Mm. ¿Y tú, Diana? ¿Qué? ¿Tú qué pusiste, más o menos? Mm. <risa> Espérame, que estoy comiendo. Sí, no nos da. Ya como ayer el Chuy estaba haciendo de comer y nomás no me invitó. Porque estaba Ajá. haciendo huevito, yo escuché. <risa> ¿Sí, no? Sí, sí. Ah, eh, escuchaba cómo estaba batiéndole ahí a los huevos con el tenedor. Yo vi. Bueno, no vi, no vi yo escuché. A la madre. El tercero, pues, chuy, aunque no lo creas. A ver, yo puse... Poker. Pues yo puse el problema de... Mmm, ¿Por qué se puede causar pues, la depresión en ah. esta cuarentena? O sea, ¿por qué se puede causar generalmente y en, en esta cuarentena también? Okay. Este, ¿Por qué se causa en adolescentes? ¿Cuáles pueden ser los síntomas? ¿Y, ¿Y cómo? ¿Cómo que cómo, Chuy? ¿Qué no sabes? ¿Cómo se causa? Pues dijo, dijiste que, se, que pusiste cómo, pues a ver. ¡A su máquina! ¿Eh? <risa> no, Diana, no le digas, que lo vea, no, mira. Lo no voy a leer, pero pues a ver. <risa> De todas maneras, te lo tienes que saber. Fíjate, nosotros lo hicimos desde la semana pasada de Anita, y, y él no ha hecho sí. nada, déjalo, déjalo. No, sí, mira, sí. se causa porque puede ser hereditario, por... ¿Por qué más? <risa> sí, pues, sí. O porque ya... O Eso porque... Es, cuando ya es hereditario ya es cuando tienes un problema donde tienes que ir sí. ya con el psicólogo, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, porque ahora sí que no es como cualquier cosa, ¿no? Okay, ¿qué más? Ya no le digas las, ya no le digas los, las causas, Dianita. Nomás dile así en general, ya en general lo que dijiste y ya que lo lea. Ver, cállate, ¿qué? Por los neurotransmisores. ¿Sabes qué es un neurotransmisor? Uh -huh. Por falta de neurotransmisores o ya. Ok, entonces tú hablaste como de las razones. Sí. Biológicas. Pues, eh, técnica, es que sabes que tienes que leerlo, porque obviamente no nos acordamos exactamente de lo que pusimos, 
Y mira, si tú no lo buscas, pues yo menos lo voy a buscar. <risa> ¿Qué? Yo ya sé de qué voy a hablar. No. Ay. ¿Qué? Yo ya sé de qué voy a hablar, ¿de qué hablas? Ay, madre santa con este señor. A ver, ¿y de qué vas a hablar, Chuy? Ya les dije ayer. A ver, no, pero dinos hoy. Dinos otra vez, ¿Sí? ya se nos olvidó. No, pues que es memorias. O sea, ¿quieres que, nosotros sí, ¿quieres que nosotros sí te digamos? A ver, pues que déjame nos hablar. ¿Qué hicimos? Ay, no, Chuy, de veras. A ver, contigo. Fernanda, cállate y deja hablar. <risa> no. Bueno, me callo, pues. No, ya, háblale, corre. Corre. Ay, oye, este ridículo. Chuy, te voy a sacar, ¿eh? ¿Qué se supone que vamos a hablar? Porque tenemos que grabar. Ya empecé a grabar. ¿Y qué vamos a decir? Tiene que ser en inglés, tú. Ah, pues este, empecemos a hablar en inglés. ¿Qué les parece? Y ya. Nos, mira, ah, Chuy, si nos podemos qué? seguir peleando, pero en inglés. <risa> ah, pues. <risa> Sigue, Chuy. Háblanos de qué va a ser tú. Tu... A ver, tú. Tu... Me no speak Spanish. Ah, I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, Chuy, tell us what you will talk about in our video, please. Tell us. I told you yesterday. You can repeat it. No. Always. Yes, you can. No. You have to say something. Something. We just repeat all our uh, topic. Yes. You, you don't want it because you you tell us yesterday. We actually yeah. tell you all our topics yesterday. No. Yes. I want yes. to know yes. the details. Yes. But I wanted to know the details now. Well, we, now we yeah. want to know your details. Please tell us. I told you yesterday. I don't care. Tell us again. No. Hijo de la fregada. Te voy a... Te le, le voy a decir que churven, ¿eh? ¿sabes? De... Pues si no quieres ya, este... La Diana y la Yun... Ya, ya te muté. What? Tienes el chuy. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Ya, ya, chuy, muévele, que no tenemos tu tiempo para que te estés con tus bromitas. Muévele, a ver. If Diana told me, maybe I can do it. ¿Eh? I'm not gonna tell you just because you tell me that I need to tell you. Okay, don't do chuy. it. But it's not a joke. Your details. That's what you need to do. So tell us now. <laughs> hey, can you repeat the question? No. Ay, no, no, de veras con este hombre. No puedo creerlo. Chuy, Chuy. Can you repeat yes. your topic today? Depression. I know you tell us yesterday, but I don't care. Yeah, I want to repeat your topic. We don't today. remember. It's depression. We don't remember. It's depression. Okay, yes, but I want to know, and Diana wants to know too, the details, because we don't remember anything that you said yesterday. Please tell us, Chewy. <laughs> I don't believe you. You're not like this. Why you don't believe me? I'm telling you the truth. Diana and me are... Uh, we are very honest and we really, really want to know your topic on detail. Please tell us. No, I don't think so. I <laughs> Joy, ya! Basta! Uy. Eres un niño chiquito. Ya! <laughs> Estás en universidad. Eres más grande que nosotras. Ya, por favor. I know. Por favor. Me no speak Spanish. <sighs> Chuy, please. Chuy. Okay, okay. Depression. So I wanted to talk about depression and what why it's caused. Sometimes it's caused about uh, what you mean? Uh, wait a minute. Sometimes no. it's caused by abuse of drugs or alcohol. 
Mm-hmm. Because sometimes depression happens when you when you have like a lot of dopamine in you. So when you do another things that produce dopamine, but not at the same level that drugs or other things, then you are not going to be enjoying it because you need more dopamine. This, uh -huh. So your body is used to have a lot of dopamine and then when you use things to increase your dopamine, like more than your body can, like is used to, and you do it in like in a long basis, you're going to get used to that level of dopamine. Like for example, when you drink alcohol, when you use drugs, or when you, when you play a lot of video games, or when you are in social media like all the day or something like that, mm -hmm. you are receiving a lot of dopamine. So when you try to do something else that requires more attention or the, um, or that needs don't is like instant dopamine to you. So you are not going to want it to do that. And sometimes you have to do those things to don't be like depressed. Like, I don't know, maybe learn guitar is hard but that would be like something good for you or study the study that that's also something else something good to you yes but it but doesn't give you the same dopamine so you're not going to do it like that Entonces, what else uh, also this can happen by if you don't sleep by your time uh -huh. it just Usually is from because you when you really rest is when you go to sleep from 10 for to 2 a.m. The those hours are the, the where your body actually recovers a lot more. So because your body is used to working night and no, I mean working day and resting night. So your body is used to go to sleep at certain time so if you don't go to sleep at that time your the sleep cycle that you have in, in you is going to be like change or something so this sleep cycle regulates your mood so that can be why you're depressed or maybe all the time hang hungry like someone that i know um okay como alguien que conoces quien so, yo what else Hijo, so a yeah if you, if you don't sleep your like in time that could be another another reason why you are depressed i am But not depressed mostly i am not talking to you i'm not talking about you man uh, no so i, I that's like I, two I, main reasons like The excessive if you dopamine, say something, of course, please. something that you said before, uh, if you don't have friends, if you don't talk to your family, that's also something that can make you depressed. If you no, no, don't... No. I, I, I tell that you, ha you, want, uh, uh, you can talk with your friends, but uh, you can't, uh, you can't uh, get closer to your family too. I didn't say like, if you don't have friends, okay, go to your family. No, I say that, okay. No, I didn't say that. Todo, estás diciendo que si no... no, I said, if you don't have that, that depression sometimes is caused because you don't have friends or ah, because okay. you don't talk to your family, like you don't have ah, like a okay. great relationship with them. Yeah, sorry. Este, okay. escuché mal, jejeje. Je, je. Ya okay. ves, es que es natural llevarte la contraria. So, what uh, else? I, I, you I, have to do important things to don't be depressed because oh shit uh, because, because let me say if you feel okay what do you want Chuy. what do you want let me tell something uh, okay. I the well the teacher Ben say that we can we have to 
to direct our video to some public and special. So I think that okay. young people we have to we have to do it to the youngest people. Yeah. Yeah. No, because yeah. I think that this age and our age is like the most yeah, proper groups to have depression and. and yeah, it's because the drugs problems. or alcohol or social media. Yes, yes, because like, that's why I talk about that because it's the young people is like. No, well, also I I I know, but I think like we have to do something uh, or write something or say something like de, de ay, no sé cómo se dice pero que deje así como bien este claro que make it clear eh, that our our public is the young people I don't know how yeah, but well, we have to do it well I can I can say explicitly like like this this is for the young people that that abuse of the alcohol or the drugs yeah yeah we can do that or, uh, and, and or maybe, the, uh, don't sleep like well yes maybe you can you can tell that you can say that uh, okay the depression can be for anyone but we are directed to young people uh, mm -hmm. you can say something like that and then in the end i wanted to say like some something to mm, to what, what, like some tips, something to help to going through the depression, like to over, I what, what's the word, to. But you just need to say what is the depression in young people, and uh, the depression and what is the COVID, because I see. No, I don't want to say about the COVID. And Fernanda no, says. Tenemos que hacer eso. Yes, but I don't want to just... talk about the COVID. That's oh, something yeah, so... that, like, all the people know about it. Esta... O sea, si ubicas que este proyecto sobre el coronavirus, mijito, ¿de qué quieres de hablar? ¿De la influenza? Yeah. A problem, a, a problem that the time. coronavirus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Por eso. But so, I don't want to talk, o sea, I, no I have a lot of things to talk, I don't want to talk about the corona. No, Everyone knows why Friend, dear friend of mine. But that's the team. The, the depression is the caused top, by the coronavirus. You I can have say to talk like about five seconds about it. You have to talk about it. Yes. Yeah, I because could do, I can talk like five seconds, maybe mention it, but I don't want to talk like. We divided the video in parts. So you say the introduction, I yep. say the middle part, and Fernanda says the last part, which are the solutions. Mm -hmm. So you can't say the solutions because Fernanda is going to say. But the I, solutions. but yes. you told me that I have to do the the introduction and the the last no, part. No, you do the introduction. The last part only is the uh, like. Bye. I see saying the goodbye conclusion conclusion. Yes. Yeah, but I have I have a good idea for the end. Okay. Oh. Just tell us, but, o sea, ni modo que todo el video y nosotros acá nomás una parte. Yes. Pero pues vamos a hablar cinco minutos cada uno, por eso yo puedo hablar al principio y al final. Pues sí, ya, Diana, dile que sí, ya, porque, ay, no. Pues es que, pues sí, pues, las ideas. Yes, just take in count that you have to mention the COVID. But why? Quieras o no, dijo Rasputia. Yes. But what I, what I supposed to say? What I supposed to say? You need you to have to say comment. that the the our topic is the depression, and this time uh -huh. is caused by the coronavirus because we right. we can't get out of of our houses and yes, that's but you, Someone, I I'm pretty sure that some of you are going to say that so. Why should it I repeat matter, it? It doesn't matter if we, we are going to say that. You have to we say just, it. You, we you just have You, you start just with the video, so you minutes. need to say that. Look, I'm going to mention it, but I'm not going to be like t talking about that so long. You're going to do the introduction. You have to say, yeah. hello, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm Maybe. not going to Depression. develop along in the coronavirus topic. But I 
I think like if you if you're going to do the introduction, the first part, you have to introduce what is the coronavirus because no, uh, yeah, yes, you, you don't know about this. You don't have this, to. Yeah. You don't have you to have spend to five minutes of, of fame in the coronavirus. I'm just telling that you have to say, uh -huh. well, the coronavirus yeah. is a new virus that it's blah, 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 affecting the world and blah, blah, blah. And we, we are now... don't know about it. Eh? That's just... No, I know. You don't understand that that's the topic this. of our video. So that's why we need to say that. But we don't have to talk so many. You don't listen to the teacher. We are not telling you that you. No, estamos diciendo que todo el tema va a ser del coronavirus. That's why I meant. I, that's why that I told you. I just gonna mention it. Like, this is why. No, like, the coronavirus caused this problem, and that's it. Like, I, I'm gonna mention it, but I don't want to talk more because it's gonna feel like it's just filler. Like, no. like I'm just talking. Just you because can, you I can, can. You no. can say what the coronavirus is, but too fast. I don't feel right? that that's important. Okay, it's a new yes. virus. Uh, I don't feel that it's important. It's a new virus who is affecting now all the world and and we are on quarantine. What you don't think. understand is that I want to give important information. The coronavirus is something that all the people know what is. Y si so no why should I say it? Who in the world Tú because, not tú because que un buen de gente piensa que no es real, ¿verdad? Claro que sí. Yeah, eso well, this hablar. message is is going to help you even if if they don't believe it because we are going to solve the problem. Well, we want to try to solve about depression. And even if I talk two hours, someone that don't believe in the coronavirus is not going to believe me. Do you think that if I talk like one minute or two more about the coronavirus, it's really going to change the mind of someone that don't believe in the coronavirus now? It's aesthetic. Aesthetic. Well, it's what I call a filler. It's just talk just because I can. No, I don't think if that's... You always do that. What do you mean? You always talk because you can. You don't understand what I try to talk, what I try to say. Ay, ya. No, ya, ya Es relleno, ya. pues. Se siente como relleno. Now you get it? No. Es que, o sea, es que no es relleno. O sea, relleno solo es no. como... No, es importante. Y ya me voy porque tengo que almorzar. Ay, <ríe> no. ahora se hizo el himno. No puedo creerlo. Yeah. No, no, pero sí ya tengo que almorzar. Puedo creerlo. Porque, no. Unbelievable. Oh, bo, 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 bo. Unbelievable. Bueno, ya. El chiste es de que, bueno, eso es lo que tienes que decir, Chuya. Si no quieres mencionar el coronavirus mucho, no lo menciones ya. No importa. El chiste es de que lo ah, hagas y nos, yeah. y nos digas, este. Entonces, eh, bueno, de, de preferencia primero lee nuestro archivo sí, sí. y hazlo en el mismo archivo para tener el guión sí. de todos si no los mandas, así como Diana nos mandó el suyo y yo les mandé lo mío a ustedes, así mismo, uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿ok? Entonces ya por el grupo estaremos hablando más así como de los detallitos, qué más podemos agregarle y así, y ya hablaremos también uh -huh. de, de cómo le vamos a hacer porque... porque bueno, no sé si la cama de, cámara de alguno de ustedes. Ya, ya empezó a grabar. Ok. Jeje. ¿Cómo te los? ¿Cómo? Te los, ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? So, my name is Jesús Macías. And, well, I have to tell this story. So. This story is about uh, a guy that tells the story of his mom and of him too. And he started telling that when he was a child, he remembered that uh, his, his mom used to do a lot of things she used to cook and go to work and 
cook it wasn't so easy because the kids, well, he and his brothers were really picky. And he remembered that he could always eat uh, chicken sauce or something like that. And that the dad can eat anything, so it wasn't so a problem with him, but with the kids, it was more problematic. And the mom have to do that and have to go to work. And he remember that the, his parents helps them to do his their homeworks, but the the mom used to help them more because the dad come to came to their home really tired and really late. So he remember that when it was 5 p.m., they they go to have dinner. And and talk and have a good time and then the kids dishes the the plates and the mom goes and have some time for herself like going with the dog or with her friends and then he remembered that when he was at university he was learning how to drive and the brother was in high school and the other brother was in medicine in the university. Hello. ¿Qué? Pues aquí andamos. Oh, es que se me desconecté el micrófono por un ratito. Ah, no, pero si te escuchaste. No, si te escuchaste. Ok, ok. So, I continue. Um... Where were I? Uh, I don't remember what what I was telling you. That the mother helped them with their homework. Oh yeah, and then the so these guys were in university, and the other one was in high school, and then they don't have like a car for them so he has to go in the bus and he remembered that they discovered that his mother have uh, something to pass the time like, like she liked to write uh, books but she never published it because she I don't know but she never published the books and when they were in high school and the other two in university then she published the books and then then when he was in the bus one time he found one guy that was reading the book of her of his mom so he thought that she was really amazing because she could do, she could write the book and also help them and do a lot of things. So he thinks that most people just use excuses to don't do what they have to do because they don't have the determination to do it. So when the time passes, they, they grow up and then they have to when they finished their their careers they didn't they didn't apply their careers careers because they they also be they also what the they also was writers and well what else Okay, then the the mom died, and he he saw that her his mom was really important because a lot of people go to pay their respects to them. So he found out how important she was, and 
Then when they go with her dad in Christmas, they talk about the good times. And when, when, and he remembers his mom every time that he drinks a coffee. And that's it. Now it's your turn, little girls. Okay, don't be shy. Any of you can start now. If you want me. Okay, yes. go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when the boy was a kid, when mm -hmm. they, when he and his brother went to the school, the mother uh, prepared everything for day for him, his brother and the father. But she did different things because not everyone ate the same things. Uh, even when the mother had a lot of a uh, lot of things to do, the mother helped them with their homework when they arrived to uh, to the school. And their father did too, but not as much as the mother did. When and then the time passed and the whole family ate together. Some time later, later, they discovered that the mother had a hobby of writing, so she wrote books, but later, but she published it later when the kids grow up. And one kid studied medicine, another is, was a storyteller, and the youngest was in high school. So the Older brother saw a person reading his mother's book and realized that the mother had a lot of determination in everything she did and showed that everything can be done and uh, achieved. All the brothers applied as a profession to be writers and the mom was the inspiration for him and the brothers. And that's everything. Yeah. Good job. Next is Fercha, right? So, yes. Fercha, are you asleep? I think she went to sleep now. No, 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 perdón, es que tenía mi micrófono en mute. Porque mis perros ah, estaban ladrando, pero no me di cuenta que estaba ya eh, en mute y ya estaba hablando. <laughs> bueno. Well, uh, I remember that the, the guy said the, that when, when they were younger, uh, the mother prepared the, the meal, but uh, she prepared... Uh, many different things because they they didn't like the same things uh, so she had she had to cook um, in the morning um, cook for for her children and for her husband and for her obviously and well uh, she she uh, she was the one who helped it help um, with the homework uh, uh, to to her child because uh, the father uh, uh, came late of the work and he was tired so she has she had to to help with the homework and then uh, well when they grow up like uh, they entered to the university and the the other one was in the high school um, they realized that the the, the mother uh, uh, was uh, writing uh, books uh, in her 
in her times, free times, she write books and and all the things, but she never public. ¿Cómo se dice publicarlo? Publish, publish it. Publish yes. them. Publish them. Ajá. Uh -huh. I thank you. But she never publishes them, and well, and when they were uh, in the university, like I said, um, she started to publish the books, and well, she was very uh, good at it, and um, bueno, uh, ay, perdón, well, uh, the the guy said that. Uh, he once saw a, a person in the bus re, uh, reading the book of his mom and he felt so proud and he felt uh, well él, he realized that the mom actually did so many things at the same time and he he thought that a, anyone can do that but we we don't want to do many things and uh, after anyone of any anybody <laughs> uh, of her uh, his brothers and he too uh, they didn't dedicate to his careers and became an writers too and well uh, after the mother dies and they uh, together with uh, his father um, so uh, they uh, tell his uh, stories about the old times and of the mother and that things y acabé Shall we? Okay. Oh. So, that's it. Now we can go. Okay. No, no. Yes. <laughs> Chuy, yes, ya leíste, yes. ya leíste lo de Ay. el guión. Yeah. ¿Qué tal? Can we can we stop? Yes. Recording this. <laughs> no. No. Hi, girls. Good morning. Hi. Did you search it up something yesterday, like uh, some kind of information or something to talk about today? How about you, Dana? Well, you, Vanessa, you don't have to, of course, because I remember you're going to say the story. But um, remember yesterday, Ben told us that we had to say at least three um, psychological diseases. So I thought we were, going, we were going to divide them. But I don't know what you guys think. Like, then I can say, one disease, I can say the other one, and you want to say the other one. The thing is that it would be interesting if we do it like that. Like, say the problem, like, very lightly, like, not too much attention on the problem, because we have to put the attention on the solution. So I don't know why you guys think about dividing the information and do it like that. Do you can hear me or not? <coughs> yes. Okay, so what, what do you think about what I said? Of divide like the information? Because that's what Ben told us yesterday. Mm, I think it's okay, but I think that I, I give more solution about the psychological problems. Um, we can, uh, uh, try to search it up, like, the different kind of psychological 
for problems and then ch choose like the best three. And then you can talk about one and two. So we just have to, and that's why it's not going to be like too much information. And then like we have to centrate more like in the solution, not in the problem. We can just mention the problem and maybe say a little bit what is it and be focused on the solution and talk about it. What do you think? Dana, can you hear us? Yes. OK, I was telling Vanessa um, that maybe because of what Ven told us yesterday, uh, maybe we can choose three physical problems. Uh, I mean, psychological problems and talk about talk about it. For example, you choose, I don't know, um, schizophrenia, I choose depression and Vanessa, another one. And we just mentioned the problem and a little bit. What is it? But we have to be more focused on the solution on what things we can do or what can we do to avoid it or to live with it or just superate the problem so i don't know what do you guys think about do this like about be able to talk about three problems us three without maybe say a personal story or if we're going to include something like that Maybe it could be something like faster, not to be like so the target audience don't get uh, their attention into the story, see no in last solutions. Okay. Mm. Um. But I don't know what you guys think because maybe you have an old idea or, or no, I don't know. Yes, it's okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, I'm looking for for some psychological diseases. Um, well, psychological disorders. There is um, intellectual disability, autism, attention deficit hyperactivity, uh, bipolar and related disorders, uh, depressive episodes, anxiety disorders, mm, panic disorder, stress, somatic so symptoms. Yes. So we were just looking for three problems only? Yes, because yesterday, remember uh, when Van was in the call, okay. um, we told him that we were going to add at least seven problems, and he said that he thinks it's too much. So he said maybe we can choose two or three problems to talk about. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. There are like a lot of diseases in here. Um, I don't know which one uh, you want to talk about. Mm. If you had already chosen um, your disease, your uh, disorder, tell me which one so I can like put it out and choose another one. Okay. But have in mind that 
your disorder is related to the pandemic, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, for me, I think I want to use um, an anxiety disorders. I can hear you. Now, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Yeah, I said that I want to choose anxiety disorders. So um, maybe we can write in the chat. Mm. The problem we are going to wrote and talk about. But in my case, I only tell the story or not? Well, yesterday, Ben told us that if you were going to tell it, if you were going to say the story, um, it can be like just as an example. But I think you have to like also choose another like kind of problem and talk about it and just tell the story as an example like so you so you don't be like talking about your story all the time because our target audience it can be like all people uh, we haven't decided that yet but we have to decide our target audience so what do you think about if our if our target audience be like old people. Mm, just solo de la clase. Oh yeah. Uh, Dana, if you can write uh, just your topic. So we can start like looking for information. And I, I don't know which topic. Mm. Oh, okay, it's okay. Um, maybe think about it uh, today, and and WhatsApp. We can like, you can tell us, and we can start like looking for information because the video it has to be done on Friday. Yes, uh, today I'm yeah, looking for information. And bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, guys. Hi. I was just about to create the video call. So I'm going to create a Word document to write the main ideas. Okay. We're going to do the name of the document. Uh, uh, maybe a story. Yeah, story, it's okay. Ah, okay, okay. It's in the carpet of Big Pie. If you don't find it, it's yes, there. Okay, thank you. I see it now. Okay, so what uh, main ideas? Did you write? Mm, I write uh, morning routine and when he was child, her mom prepared to lunch to he and his brothers. Mm, actually, uh, write, I write uh, so many keywords. Yeah, me too. But I write more like uh, main ideas, like they do, they do um, text. But I don't know if we have the same ideas. Yeah, I I wrote like small phrases. Uh, what do you say? Uh, I don't hear you very well. Oh, sorry. Is that my internet is bad? 
Well, I I said that I wrote like small phrases, small ideas, but I don't know if I'm if they are right. Yeah, me too. Um, maybe you can write them in the text, and if we have the like the same idea, we can put like um. I don't know, something to recognize that those are the main ideas. OK, I'm going to I'm going to write it. I was thinking that maybe we can make like a different. Um, I don't know, like apartados and we can write in one of the mom and another like what the child do and I don't know. I uh, made a table so we can write on it. Okay, um, thanks. I'm gonna start to write my keywords and my phrases words. Phrases K. Yeah, me too. So in the month, we, um, we're going to start saying about what Nelly says about the, um, her morning routine. Yeah, like the things that the mom do, like uh, prepare the lunch and that stuff. Okay. We have to retell the story with our words, isn't it? I'm going to to write um, like extra information at the bottom of the document. Okay, thank you. I think we have enough information to start to talk uh, about the story. Mm, do you know where we are going to upload the uh, retelling? I don't have idea. Here in the Quick 5 carpet. Do you remember what the teacher said at the, at the end of the call? Because I didn't hear him so well. I didn't hear too because well, my internet was going, so I, I didn't hear him too. Did he say something important? Or? He said something about names, but I didn't hear um, all what he was saying. Mm, sorry, I don't remember neither. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, the important thing here is that we we have to upload the the audio. Okay, are you prepared to tell the story? No, I don't. Let me a second. Mm, who speak first? Mm. Who wants to be the first? Maybe we, uh, the three um, 
uh, talk and oh sorry <laughs> I forget what I was saying maybe we all can uh, talk and give um, like ideas of the story I don't know to make it more quickly I don't catch your uh, idea, sorry. <laughs> I'm saying that we can talk like a group, not individually. Like a tree, um, give ideas to the story. We'll tell uh, like the main ideas. Yeah, I can be. Because we we have a little bit of time. Okay, I'm going to start. First, we have uh, the story like a, a person was remember the past. Yeah, he remember her mother. He remember the mor morning routine they have. Yeah, I think it was because he was in the coach and he remembered that her mom um, was in the coach and that stuff. Yeah. And then he remembered that the mom prepared lunch for the three the three kids, but there uh, there were uh, three different lunch for each kid. Yeah, he also remember that the mom helped them with their homework in the evening. And sometimes they had a few time after the dad came and put the table to have dinner. Yeah, and they all help to clean the table. Um, to mom, every have every time or divide the time to do all of the activities she had, like visit their friends or clean the dishes. Yeah, even if she was tired or bossy, she always had time for her kids and to write her book. And yeah, he don't realize about that. After yeah, when he when all of them were between high school, that her mom published the book. Yeah, and I think it was nice that a random person in the bus was reading the mom's book. Yeah, and that time he he reflected about how her mom she had a lot of things to do and she she don't give up and she write the book. 
Yeah, I like that uh, the person who was telling the story say that other people always give uh, excuses to not finish something, but uh, his mom was always bossy and uh, she and her book, like she won't. Yeah, and I think to the mom gives to he a motivation to do all of the he going to do mm -hmm. like wake up in the morning or do the goals he have. I think it also helped to the child to finish a career. Yeah, I think the same. And I think um, his mom is a was a really important person because many people show respect in his mother's funeral. Yeah, she was a, a very big motivation. It seems that the mom was a nice person. And then they also say that uh, they come back together in Christmas to remember their mom. Yeah, I think because they love so much and they have a really good um, thinkings of her mom. Yeah, and then the story ends the, when they are in the coach, like at the beginning of the story. Yeah, I think is it is all of the history. Yeah, I think uh, it's nice that the mom made her dream come true. Okay, and now that we finished, um, maybe we can stop recording the call. I'm going to to close the the word document because I think we don't need it anymore. Or leave it as proof that we work. I I think. Yeah, I'm going to stop recording and end the call, and then upload the the audio. Okay. Okay, we can uh, work in. You know that we we have planned to work in or practice video of the another activity today, but maybe we can practice tomorrow to finish yeah. the video in Friday. Yeah, it's OK. Oh, yeah. <laughs> OK, <laughs> bye. 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 Listo. Okay. So do you want to write uh, or notes in a word document or not? Yes, if you want. Yes. Okay. If we can say it and, and write it down in a word document. Let me see. Okay. Oh, give me a second. Okay. What could be the title? Um, 
know about the story, maybe? Yes. Are you in week five? Yes. Ah, okay. Um, nope. No, I can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to... You can see what, what we write. Okay. Mm, let me see. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, do you want to read your notes? Okay, first I wrote keywords and, and then my, my notes. For keywords, okay, I'm Andy. <laughs> um, you need to say your name right. Um, well, is I I put mother, writer, dedication, book, determination, and multitasking. Multitasking? Yes. Okay. You can repeat me the words? Repeat? Yeah, can for you. Okay. writing the document. Okay, okay, okay. I put mother, uh, writer. What? Writer. I can only see you. You can repeat? Writer. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> like, escritor? Writer? Ah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, dedication? Determination. Andy? Yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, no, sorry. Es que yo no te escuché y dije, ay, ¿qué pasó? <laughs> sorry. I put book. Book. Uh -huh. And multitasking. So? Yes, it's so. Well, um, I'm going to say you my keywords. Okay, then. write it in the document please <laughs> yes oh my god wait 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 ah uh, yeah i can see it Okay, ready? I'm ready. Tell me, tell me. Um, I put job. Can you repeat it? Yes, job. Job. Okay. 
brothers. Motivation. Conversations. Morning routine. Repeat it again. Yes. Um. Food. 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 <laughs> um. Book. And respect. Notes, right? Correct. Okay. My notes are um, make coffee is part of her routine and it's how she start her day. Can I repeat, please? Yes. Make coffee is part of of her morning routine and it's how she start her day. Her day? Uh-huh. Okay. Her day. Um, She helped her songs with their homework. And hmm, she also plays with the dogs and read different books. Okay. So. Um. <clears throat> oh my God, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um. Okay, okay. I put she do a lot of different things and is always take care of her family. Okay, she do a little what? <laughs> a lot, a lot of things. Uh huh, a lot of things. Mi robotista está así. She do a lot of things and what? She do a lot of things and she also take care of her family. Okay. 
Are you there? Uh, um, okay, the I think it's the last one. Is she she wrote a uh, a book because it's someone who starts something and finished. What? Because is someone who start something starts? Creo que es con ese. Starts. I don't know. Starts something and finished. Okay. And um. Yeah, I think it's all. It's all, okay. Oye, ¿qué horas dijo el puerto que tenemos que regresar? Um, no sé, pero igual estoy... Ah, caray. No sé, pero no, no me desconecto. Bueno, pude entrar a las dos reuniones y no, no escucho nada. Ah, ok, ok. We can continue. <laughs> sí. Ok, so... I don't write the notes, I just put some uh, little phrases, but so, so, um, muy pequeñas. Okay. So, <laughs> give me a second to, to order it. Okay, and then, um, so you can write it, please, my yes. notes? Yes, okay. okay, I'm ready. Oh. Okay, um, the first one is, they have a lot of conversations. A lot of conversations, or is it corto? Mm-hmm. A lot uh, while she washed. The dishes. Um, another, she was. She was. She was. Was. <laughs> was, I see. Was. Was. <laughs> she was. Was. Very dedicated. ¿Ya lo escribiste? Ya. Yeah. Ah, oh, es que aquí no me apareció. <laughs> Perdón. No, está bien. Very dedicated. She was very dedicated of her project. Oh. Send me when you finish because my computer is 
um, congelada. Ok, ok. <laughs> I finished. Okay. Of, of her projects, right? Yes. Ok. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is she never put. She never write a book? Put. Write a book? No, 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 no. She never put excuse. Excuses. Uh, okay, excuses. Mm -hmm. uh, for done. For done. The job. Oh, me escribió ya aquí. Ah, sí, dijo que tiene problemas otra vez con su compu. Um, oh, ok. Le mandamos la invitación a ver si puede entrar. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Puedes? Es que no veo la opción. Sí, ahí voy. Ok, thank you. Bye. Hello. ¿Nos escuchas? Sí, sí. Ok. Entonces, ¿continuamos con las notas? Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, well, I'm done. Um, <laughs> I have the other words. Ah, uh, yeah. Ok. So... We can continue with you, Yaki. You can hear me. No. I think her internet is it's bad again. Yeah. Well, well, let's finish. So we put our keyword, keywords and the notes. So the professor says here, you will record one meeting of you discussing and preparing for retelling the story in the same record meeting. So we need to say the story in our own words, I think. Oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you want to start or me? Mm, I really want to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to start first. So, um, on rainy days, her songs remembers remember her and they remember her always doing her coffee as normal of her morning routine mm -hmm. and doing different different stuff preparing their food and and helping them with their homework because she was always at home first than their dad. And she were in a medical school and they didn't know that she actually write novels and, and she Oh, when she wrote her first book, they they saw um, no, they saw persons reading her book in the bus. Um, she 
she was so dedicated and has a lot of determination. She was a person who starts something and finished. And also in her family, always um, they give to them respect and different values. And for these, the rainy days, remember uh, to them her mom. And that's it. <laughs> Oh, you're you're doing very very well. <laughs> Me asombraste. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jackie's here. Ah no. <laughs> and it's your turn. Oh my god. Okay. It's your turn. I don't know what I'm going to say because I don't have a clear idea in my mind. <laughs> so. Just listen to me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, well. <sighs> he started uh, the story as uh, said yet her mom started her day uh, with uh, a coffee. That's the way how she started her routine. Uh, she was a very determinate person because uh, she do a lot of things a task a short uh, she published a book mm, while her 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 sons are in the school her husband working um, Mm -hmm. Um, my God, she never put excuses for doing the job. Um, They are a details in my in my mind, but <laughs> I don't know how to connect it. Um, I remember the part when he say uh, she she finished her first book book while uh, she learning to drive. Her brother uh, finished the. Um, medical career or something like that. Um, what more? Mm. I remember a part of the holidays. She, he mentioned something about the Christmas. She was very present. Um, uh, because she she was a a dedicated person with her family and her um, her hobbies or her her things that she do it. Um, I think it's so. all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. You did pretty well too. You want to write your story? I what? Write. Uh, no. No? Oh my no. god. <laughs> <laughs> you really surprised me. Oh my god, no. <laughs> in, in my mind, um, I can't connect the ideas. I, <laughs> I don't know. You're, do you're doing very, very well. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Um, in the Word document, how we can save it? Or it's already saved? 
What? ¿Cómo podemos guardar el documento? O, o, o ya está guardado. Sí, ya está guardado. Ya ah, desde muy... la se queda guardado. Solo ah, ok. Voy a cambiar la, el tipo de letra. Ok. So, um, I think we are okay. done. Uh, yeah, we are done. Um, I think that we can start like, I remember. He, um, the, you can see the document. Mm, yes, history, see no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I am going to start like, the the history that I think yeah uh -huh. you you tell me yes I remember um, I remember that every day my morning routine. How can, can I put like, uh, was, was doing or was did? I remember that every day my routine, I was doing, no? I was doing, but, but I, I want to put like, that he do coffee and the lunch. Um, he, in past? Uh huh. He did. He did. But, no. but I'm the, the history. Uh, I'm a second. We can write in like in first person or in third person. I think it's in first person, no? Uh, okay. Entonces, I remember the morning was was mm -hmm. big. What, no, I remember that I I was doing. No, I, I was. R. ¿Cómo? Le pongo R. Can you see me? <laughs> you want in past? Or yes. tell me the phrase in Spanish. Ah, este, uh, le voy a poner yo este. Uh, yo recuerdo que cada mañana mi rutina, no, cada mañana, sí. Mi, ru... <laughs> mi rutina en la mañana era hacer café y el lonche para mis hermanos. Mm. So y... it's my routine was doing. I just. just yes, was just doing. Like was was doing. Sí. Without. Ah no. <laughs> yes, without the I. Was doing coffee. It's with double E, right? Yeah. Was doing coffee and lunch. Uh, my brothers. Ah, it's not for me. I remember when I was young. I can't put like like my early um, daily morning routine. Mm. I remember when I was young. Mm -hmm. My day morning routine was like coffee and lunch.
Ya no me acuerdo qué más sería. Coffee. We can put lunch and dishes. Mm -hmm. Before things of school. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the. I remember that in the history say that that while he washed the dishes, her mother tells histories so something like this. I I don't remember. Ah, uh, so he washes the dishes. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, in the, in the history it says that. So we can put like so uh, then uh -huh. I washed uh -huh. the dishes when my mom that uh, and and when I don't write I didn't write the the words the keywords that I remember that in the history talk about her mother and says that that he that she do a lot of things like uh, play with the dog and uh, I I don't remember but but the history says that uh, she do she did a lot of that oh okay. and todavía <laughs> sabes cómo me puedo decir todavía eh uh, es como also verdad como uh -huh, also and also she she stay for her brothers in in the men in the history. Oh, yeah. so, so she she she, she motivate motivate the to her sons like um uh, like um, uh, like they do a lot of things that they can do a lot of things. Something like oh. Okay. So we can put like uh, 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 my mom. Mm, mm, I and also says that she graduated by the medical school. So we can put like my mom. Was graduated by medical school. Uh, she she was very dedicated and did a lot of things in the day. And when I have a graduated. By the medical school, and when we we uh, we are in the call with the teacher, so mm. somebody says that the mom died, and yo no yo no escuché <laughs> yo no listen, and I don't listen that I don't know. Mm. Bueno. A ver, dame. Mother support. Ok. So. Ah, mm, my mom. 
Ah, en la otra, in the other phrase. When, so then I wash the dishes when my mom tell us stories. Hey, stories. I know. Come on, how can I write histories? Ah, okay, así. ¿Qué cosa? Histories like in plural. Ah. That's good. A ver, pa' me es lo Ari. Me está cargando. History. Yeah, I think it's like that. Let me check. Okay. Um, do you want to write the other? Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that I remember. Yeah. Uh, my mom was graduated by the medical school. Can you see? Um, you told me that she cared about the brothers and the brothers and what is behavior? Behavior. Es comportamiento. Ok. No sé por qué, pero vamos a decir. Ah. So, no, no, no. My mom was graduated by the medical school. Um, when? And did a lot of things in the day, or did a lot of things when I was in like like play with bueno como que no queda pero me lo ponen and play with the dog creo que también decía que she went with her friends to take a coffee Ay, I don't see mm -hmm. book yeah. My mom was graduated by medical school and did a lot of things, tasks, like play with the dog. Déjale pongo acá. My mom was graduated by the medical school. She was graduated by medical Dedicated. And motivated, no? Uh -huh. I play with the dog, the shores of the house, maybe. And I start to come to me, but I tell you. Please. Uh, I'm sure she was a good so she did a lot of things and things like that. Uh -huh. And go with your with her friends maybe. ¿Cuál es su amiga? Uh, 
like like she uh, o sea de que aunque ella hiciera todo eso uh -huh. uh, también este como que estaba al pendiente de ellos o estaba para ellos ok so let me play with the dog Ay, también de que salía con sus amigas. Entonces, take care. Take... Mm -hmm. A ver, and also she take care. Okay. The, in the history it says, and there's always for us. Like, como que ah, siempre okay. estaba para nosotros. Ah, y también lo del libro, bueno, decía que también aunque hiciera todo eso, ella estaba escribiendo un libro, pero creo que no le decía a nadie. ¿Cómo? Y de que ella estaba escribiendo un libro, pero que no le decía a nadie y que lo sacó hasta que él estaba en la secundaria, creo. No, en la preparatoria, bueno, en la high school. Y, uh -huh. Ajá. So ya, de ahí, ya de ahí se iría que mm, decía la historia. I remember when I in the bus and I see a stranger a stranger uh, reading the book of my mother. Uh -huh. Entonces. Uh, We can be like mm, she she was writing a book and she don't tell to anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm, she published when I was in the high school. Mm -hmm. A ver. So she write a book. Wrote. Wrote. A book when I was in. No. You told me something no. about um, she she was o sea que ella estaba leyendo estaba escribiendo un libro y no le decía a nadie entonces sería she was no she was writing a book and don't tell to anybody no, algo así and she didn't Violeta, Mandy. Uh, what did you tell me about a stranger? Ah, uh, bueno, decía que uh, I remember when I see the first person reading the book. Uh, ah, no, sí. Bueno, empezaba de que, que él uh, se subió al camión o oh, estaba en el camión. I was in the bus when I see the first person, the first, ah, no, a stranger reading the book. Bueno, era el primero y el extraño. O sea, como que una persona extraña. La primera persona extraña, algo así. Uh, reading the book of my mother. Something like this. When she was in high school, right? Ah, sí. When I was in high school. Y luego también le podemos poner, bueno, ya después de eso. Uh, 
we learn we learn a lot of my more when I have a way I don't know what I can put like in the history it says that it says uh, because how many people don't uh, finish their task? And how uh, how many people have excuses to do the things? Something like this. Y luego también decía, mmm, como que ya diciéndote a ti decía, uh, find something that drive you, something okay. that motivate you, like something like you, you have like, uh, como un propósito, como algo que hacer que tú te proponga, algo así. Mm. Es que no sé cómo... Mm. We can put like, so always try to find your purpose. And then, yes. So it's all, no? It's all. Uh, I think. Uh, también hablaba, bueno, uh, in the history also says about her brothers. Bueno, decía que, que one of her brothers uh, graduated with honors and the person who was uh, telling the history also graduated in something but I don't I don't remember well, y luego también va a faltar lo de que se murió pero es que no recuerdo bien cómo era eso mm -hmm. Oye, creo que dijo que regresáramos, Violeta. Ay, a las 9.40. ¿A las 40? Ajá, sí. Ah, ok. No sé si ya tenemos que terminar la historia. ¿Crees que sí? ¿Cómo? No sé si ya tenemos que haber grabado la historia. Sí, pues hay que grabarla ahorita con lo que tenemos. Ok. Eh, Hacemos otro video, digo, otra... Sí, otro lo corto o así. Sí, entonces déjale doy en esto. I remember when I was young, my daily my daily morning routine was doing coffee and lunch for my brothers and I. It was not an easy task. I remember also uh, when I wash the dishes, my mom tell us histories. My mom was graduated by the medical school. She, she was very dedicated and motivated. Also, she was dedicated. Also, she did a lot of things and tasks, like play with the dog, go out with her friends, um with her friends and also she was always there for us um, okay. so she writes a book but she didn't tell anyone so when i was in high school i remember i was in a bus and i saw a stranger reading my mom's book. And we learned a lot of my mother. She always had a good behavior. 
She always motivated us to get the job done and to be dedicated and have no excuses. So something that I can tell you is that always try to find your purpose, find something that drive you, any reason why you wake up every morning. So this, all this, I learned this from my mom.
Teacher. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. Um, I have a question. Yes. About um, the activity that we have to record the, the call, like explaining like mm -hmm. the topic about the COVID-19. Uh, you're gonna be, give us time tomorrow on class, or we gotta like do by our ourselves like in our time, an afternoon or something like that. Uh, tomorrow I I am gonna give you guys time in class to work on your video. So, um, I want to speak with each group though before you begin uh, recording. So oh, okay. probably what we'll do tomorrow is I'll be we'll start. Um, I may, in fact, let me, let me wait till 940 so that everybody else is back in the class Okay. and I'll uh, explain a little bit uh, more what we're going to do tomorrow so that, um, uh, because that's a good question. I want everyone to hear the answer to that. Okay. So okay. let's wait until about 940 and then I'll explain a little bit further. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks teacher. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
All right, my friends, it's 940. We want to go ahead and uh, close the class for today. Just a few words on today's activity, all right? This was the first time, perhaps for many of you, this was the first time that you've been asked to recreate a story in English. And it's difficult the first time, right? It's hard to first understand enough about a story and then turn around and try to put that same story into your own words. We're going to have several opportunities throughout the semester to retell a story. This is going to help us with our listening comprehension. It's also going to help with our presentational skills, how we present a story. So I want you to Try to be patient with what we're doing this first time. I know that it can be uncomfortable. It's difficult sometimes to try to understand a story when you know you need to retell the story. This is why in this type of activity, we will always begin with a group activity where we're listening to the story probably three times, just like we did today. We will discuss it as a group. You will have opportunities to talk about what you understood from the story. You'll have opportunities as a whole group to ask questions. Today, no one asked questions about the story. Again, I understand this is the first time of doing this type of activity, but you could have asked questions about anything to generate a discussion with the whole group. Uh, take notes, check notes, organize your notes. For example, maybe you organize your notes after you complete them and you can put it into some sort of organization based on how the events occurred throughout the story. You know, what came first, what came second, and so on. When you divide it into your groups, you were given opportunities again to share your ideas. Okay, what are some of the details? What are the ways that we can organize our ideas to retell the story? You can talk amongst yourselves as a group in English about, again, the details of the story. Right. Most of today was spent just understanding the story understanding and organizing our own ideas before, at the end, we actually retell the story. I will never never just ask you to hear a story once with no discussion and right away retell the story. We're always going to have opportunities to work together as a whole group and also as a small group to prepare, to prepare to retell the story. So, be patient. I understand that some, maybe all of us are a little bit scared to try to do this. It's difficult. Maybe it's the first time you've been asked to do this. I'm encouraged by many of you encouraging your classmates. Please continue to do that, right? We're all in this together to help each other to try to get the most out of this class out of this experience please try to talk with your classmates in english it doesn't do you any good to speak in spanish right 
Sometimes, and most of the time, I'm not even there. I'll, I won't know that you're speaking Spanish until I hear your recording. So please try to speak in English as much as possible. For today, <clears throat> I'm going to ask everyone, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to ask everyone to, uh, in your group, if one person in your group, in Microsoft Teams, could just write out a message that you have uploaded the video to the files tab for week five, just so that I know that you're ready for me to go and find the file and download it. All right. So if you've already completed that task, if one of you could just go very quickly into the group and just say, our file has been uploaded, something like that, just a message that tells me that you have completed the recording, and uh, later today I will go in and download the recording, and I will edit out basically everything except for you telling your story, All right? So let's see. Any questions about today's task? No, teacher. No? No. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and stop there. Tomorrow, our plans for tomorrow, I want to give you time in class as a group to work on your videos. Your video will be due on Friday, so we still have tomorrow and Friday. I would like to talk with each group once again before you record your video. I would like for you to explain um, how you're going to create the video. All right, so tomorrow we'll dedicate our class time to working on the video and we'll begin tomorrow by me going into each of the groups uh, to discuss your video. I would like tomorrow, and we can wait until tomorrow to do this, right? I will ask each group to post a message to let me know if you're ready for us to have a conversation, if you're ready for us to talk about the video that you're going to create. If you need more time to discuss and work out some details, then uh, just leave a message that you need more time or just don't respond and I, I, won't, I won't jump into your group. If you're ready for me to talk with you about your video, please include a message and tomorrow in class, we'll begin by uh, talking about uh, your video. Okay, so th that's what we're going to plan on tomorrow on Thursday. Yes, teacher. All right. Teacher, okay. teacher I, yeah. I have a question. Yes, go ahead. So the, the video, we have to record it here in Microsoft Teams, right? Yes, so the video that you're going to record, you're basically going to do the same thing that you've been doing. You're going to record your meetings. The only difference is probably you'll you'll be, at least some of you may, might be sharing your screen, right? So depending on how you want to present your ideas, right, if it's going to be uh, any visuals or images, um, you might share your screen in your presentation, okay? But just record, you're gonna record your sessions and you can decide if you wanna show your face or not, but you'll probably wanna share your screen depending on what you're presenting. And, um, and that's how we'll create the video for this week. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? Me teacher. Yes. Um, the how much time did it have to be the podcast of this week? Uh, the same as last. Uh, any around four minutes, four to four and a half minutes is fine for this week's podcast. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Mm. <laughs> Not the All right, guys. Uh, the then we'll go ahead and stop there and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher.
Thank you. Bye, Bye. Thank you, teacher. Hey, thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Teacher. Yes. This is a question uh, really fast. Sure. Um, sure. What time, uh, like, we have to talk in, like, each um, person in the explanation? Or in the video? Like, how time or how long? time i have to talk each person um should speak five minutes in total okay and um make sure and we can talk about this uh, again tomorrow there's a a list of things that i want you guys to think about when you create your video and do you remember seeing that list mm -hmm. all right so just make sure that you're following that list um uh, because it has a lot of details about uh what uh, I'm... and it mm -hmm. is the the list that you gave us the another like the another day that he had like the aspects that we gotta talk about right in our right video. right yeah is just... it in files uh let's see where is the I've had it in several places you know what I'm gonna uh let me find it again and I will upload it to the general tab here in post. Okay, I'll just attach it. Yes. And, um, and uh, I'll encourage everyone to take another look at that list as you're, as you're preparing so that you can uh, create the best video here for, for the task. Okay? Okay. All right. Your, and the another thing, um, the, 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 no, the audio that we're going to like tell you the story with our own words, uh, it's gonna be in OneDrive, like in the in the site that we post our podcast. But in that side, we're gonna post the audio telling the story. I uh, know the the story can be uploaded to your group files under week five. And the week five. Which group? Uh, are, which where? group are you in? In the five. No, in the four. Okay, so in group four, when you go into group four under files, let me share my screen. Here. Yes. All right, so I'm in group four, go under files mm -hmm. in week five, and here you can upload your audio. In fact, it looks uh, like okay. Erica, is that your file from today? It looks like Erica already uploaded the, the file. But that's for like the the three ones, but I gotta like to post one like on myself, no? No, no, it, it, it should be in that uh, meeting. General? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so ah. it's not like everybody doesn't have to create their own file. It should be just one meeting per group. And in ah, that okay. meeting, uh, at some point, each one of you should um, present your story. And then I'll go in and I can clean it up. I can edit the, the audio. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Alrighty. teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks.